Now it's time for our Game Fuel marquee match here on... Oh, what, what day is it? Where are we? I don't care, but it's Dallas Empire versus Seattle Surge. My name is Miles, his name is Chance, and we're ready to get into this one. What day is it? Saturday. It's Saturday oh, where we are, yeah, that's Tuesday. right. Woo, here we go. Exciting to see where this series leads us to, Chance, but we've got our Game Fuel marquee match up. I honestly no idea what day it really was for a long time there. We have our Game Fuel featured player to be looking at as well. And it is going to be none other than Hook the Nuke himself. We will be taking an unfiltered look at his gameplay throughout this series. And I cannot wait to see what the young phenom is up to. I mean, he's just been a monster all year long. Like, he's certainly in the running for, like, best player in the game right now. Obviously, FaZe has had their number, so you can't give him that number one spot as a clearance, but he has just been playing out of his mind across all game modes. He, like, barely has bad maps. <laughs> it is honestly just, like, what we expect from this young man. When you're playing in fives, you know, occasionally some players have to take the back seat or your, like, skills aren't always going to be able to shine. But this year, he has been shining very, very brightly. Has been a force for his team and frankly, I'm just excited to be able to watch more of his gameplay see what the man can do I mean it's been amazing we have talked him up for I think three CODs now I mean like every single time we see him we're like he's the next big thing he's gonna go huge this is gonna be his year and it hasn't been the case MW was one thing but even then he wasn't as individually insane as we're already seeing him on this title it is just unreal this could actually be the year the hook really blows things up here in the Call of Duty world. The champion of other first-person shooter titles across the board. And again, now he's bringing his talents back to us. And boy, oh boy, do we love us some hook. But that's enough of that. We love a bit of hook. We have a whole team to talk about. His squad, his squad mates, the current reigning world champions. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dallas Empire. Dallas Empire have smashed the gates open. Oh no, who is in you, mate? Oh, it's a shot punch! Oh no! Once again, they save the day. Dallas Empire, one of the teams on the tips of everyone's tongues is uh, true greatness. But again, they lost the last major in a big way to Atlanta Chance. I think we need to see Shotzi, Crim6, Illy and Hook do a lot of soul searching and time spent watching VOD to work out those issues with Search and Destroy because damn, that was one hell of a finals we saw. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's really just the game plan for Dallas Empire. Like, obviously, they're going to be geared up and ready to play today, but they're thinking long term. This is a team only thinking about championships, and right now, it is pretty much just that one team, Atlanta Face, standing in their way. So that's the, the back pocket game plan for those guys. But of course, Miles, well, they do need to get past Seattle. They do need to get past Seattle. And what we're seeing out of Seattle so far is wonderful stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, you saw them a few days ago where they turned the COD world upside down. Now it's time to meet them again. It's the Seattle Surge. Pristini looking dangerous. He, he's just ripping the entirety of the gorillas. Wow. Oh, aggressive is always Diamond Khan head rip off. Looking to find a few more, but Gunners absolutely rips his way through the three of them. 249, 249, Seattle works. I think a lot of fans are wondering if today is the day that Seattle Surge's woes truly turn themselves around. For Octane, Pristini, Looney, and Gunless, it has been uh, a sordid affair at times. But again, a massive victory against Florida a few days ago. Must have given them a tremendous confidence boost, Chancey, it has to be said. Dallas Empire, an entirely different beast, though, when it comes to an opposition. But are you feeling about the way that Surge are looking these days? I mean, I, I'll tell you, it's one of those things. It's not as bad as like the Minnesota Rocker with Hardpoint, but just for the fact that they just have that one game mode control where they are just starving for a win. It's just going to be so tough to win series against like any teams in the CDL. Everybody is good at this point. You're going to need to figure out a way to start getting those game threes instead of just dishing out free confidence to the other team halfway through the series. But honestly, looking at the maps, I, I kind of like them for Seattle, especially that checkmate map too, I think is super interesting because right now Seattle 3-0 on the map. And granted for Dallas, they're 3-1, and so they also look good for a record. But all three of Dallas's wins on Checkmate S&D have been in round 11. Ooh. So it has been to the wire for them. Even well, that Moscow hard point that we're going to be kicking off for. Not a terrible map for Seattle either, man. They're 1-1. One one. I think the only loss was about 20 or 30 points. 
frankly for Octane, if he just had a, a slightly better cruise missile or one that worked for him, they could be 2 on all on this match. And on the flip side for Dallas, 1-2. and two. So Seattle, this is an opportunity, man. You got a good map set, and the map set starts off strong for the first two maps for you. You need to make sure you deliver. Well, this is the chance. Game one here on Moscow for the hard point. Seattle Surge, Dallas Empire. This should be a fun one. And again, for Dallas, I think the, uh, the real crown jewel of this series is going to be those search and destroyers. You do want to absolutely put Seattle in the dirt. But already, it's a conga line. Round through mid, and the aggression is there. And a confident Pristini is certainly a dangerous one. A wonderful couple of kills going his way. Surge with the opening gambit, and it paid off massively. They're going to grab the time, but they still have to worry about spawns for next. And Chance, quite frankly, the flip was already there. They've completely flipped out. Yeah, they just completely forgot to actually sit in the back and block those spawns. And, well, you make a mistake like that, you got to imagine Dallas Empires, obviously a team that will execute and make sure they come prepared. Illy able to pick up two. And, yes, Octane's there for the trades. He's able to get them. But either way for Empire, still, you get that free rotation of P2. They're going to be feeling comfortable. And even Crim6 gets posted up on Globe. He is going to live there and make sure that if you try to cross mid, you're going to have to deal with this Krig. Yep, you're going to deal with that Krig. Shots, he's going to be there in the back end to put some damage forward. And final few seconds here. And Looney, it's invariable that he will have to cross through this hard point, you know, to really get towards the next one. So he's able to contest, maybe find a kill or two. Not bad. But Dallas, they've got a decent setup here towards the second hard point, towards this courtyard by the tree. You see those spawns coming through very, very close to the hard point. Number two, watching that long street side. This is going to be Hook, our Game Fuel featured player on your screen. Watch him now as he plays his way through this hard point. Come on, commu excuse me, communications come through, and he's going to look towards white. He's going to die immediately, but look how close he'll respawn. Oh, no, I take it back. The player number six was close enough forward chance, so Pristini's done a lot of damage in the back line. It's going to force Hook now to push from the front. Knows this is where all the players are going to come and actually just bad timing for him able to stay alive but you can see number six Persini just trying to hunt him down and doesn't even need to for hook now you just basically have to think about the rotation and that is a tough goal round he has three engagements in the first two minutes and just being forced to rotate this far in advance not a fun spot and you can see the idea he's responsible for mid but seattle well no one's going to be coming here they're going all the way around effectively right now it's going to be hook and shotzi sort of pinching these players in Good info. Yeah, who playing it smart, just giving his teammates that information. Yeah, a lot of info. Breaks the glass, creates a little bit of noise. Oh, no. He was so patient for so long. But if anything, that was testament to how great Seattle had played. Not only that hard point. Hello. Hello. Oh, baby. Shots. He gone for the third, son. That was disgusting. Okay. I was trying to give Seattle some love, trying to tell them they were doing everything right. And then you go and do something like that. Shame on you, Shotzi. Nice three-piece. The fall from Krim. It's just daggers, just daggers in the back line trying to hold the full 60. That is like not even caster's curse, but like the, the featured player curse, dude. Start off with Hook, try to give him some love, and then it just turns out Shasi's the player. Gonna have that hot start, but either way, much better job on this hill. That is just a clean and easy full 60. Unless maybe Seattle, now that they're spawning the back, want to fight for the scrap, but either way towards new, you can see the idea from Seattle. Rossini's going to be around pillars trying to hold that bus control. And what well, you got, Octane, pushed out over towards bus stop. But Dallas Empire, they're going to be looking for him. Yeah, again, look, Prostini right now on the hunt, truly looking around for any players. I mean, anywhere. He's got no idea where these members of Dallas are. And the spawns have just changed again. So you can see his whole squad spawning on the right-hand side of the map. Seattle have got to make their journey now. Jotzi, maybe caught unaware. Looney's going to paint this gunfight a little bit easier for Octane to win. And now we make the push on the street. Lee there with the QBZ, one to his name. Octane gets the trade immediately. Pristini backing him up. Crim 6 now from the deep bus. Shot's going to be there at great range with a Krig. And again, that mill stop, slight magnification there with the red dot. He's going to make these shots that bit easier, but this is not an easy position to hold. You have to pick up the trades effectively. So far, no one really able to make the big play. It's going to be Looney now making his way through the jump up in the office. And even then, he's just able to just sort of create a distraction. Not able to get any kills. Dallas hold the point fantastically. And Krim right now needs help as well. You see his teammates actually flooding this whole time just to try to give him a little bit of love because they need one more kill for him to get the score streaks. Unfortunately, his teammate loses the gunfight and then three players there to challenge to shut him down. So no score streaks, but the good news I'd say for Krim is, hey, you got a 50-point lead. You got the, the good side spawns, potentially long-term for D2, and more importantly, in control of the actual point. Shotzi right now, 15 kills to his name. I imagine he's going to be feeling clean and easy and where he's going to be getting some shots in. His teammates there get the sweep. And even though these players end up spawning behind, they might not have blocked, but got Crim6 very quick. 
recognize these players are going to be behind Oh, my God. Crim, the guy Looney, That is Grim. literally right behind them. <laughs> They're back to back. Oh, Crim finally gets it. But wow. Oh Good job, Observers, to catch that one. Oof, that was like a, I, was, I don't know what to call that. That was, that was almost comedy, truly. But either way, Hook's going to come out on top of the, the War of Trades. And, oh, boy. Picks up the QBZ. Paints it the nice Dallas Empire camo color and immediately puts it to good work. There you go. Final 10 seconds going to be going the way of the boys of Dallas. But now Looney, eyes set on the next one. He didn't have a great hold last time, but already Illy wins a big gun fight there on point to hold it. Oh my word, Hook. That was a nice shot at range. He's turned the KD around, baby. I think right now Dallas Empire may be up 18 or 19 kills in the slaying department. I think Seattle Surge ran out of COD points. They're not able to buy themselves anything at this point. Fearful of the full 60 as well. They're dealing with all the guns. Pristini maybe trying to find an opening through green, but just walk straight into Crim 6. Nice and easy cleanup for him. And this is just looking like a Dallas Empire looking to dominate on map number one. They have not slowed down. Nope, they have not slowed down in the slightest. Dallas actually currently sitting at one and two when it comes to map wins here on Moscow, but we're going to make that two and two after this one. If they can keep this all together. Final 20 seconds here. Oh, dear. As we go across the map... Looney's trying to watch something through mid. There's no one to be found still. His teammates do have the wrap covered. They've got the next hard point. Octane Gunless loaded up there. We are going to see that player at the back. That is going to be Pristini. Looney makes his way now finally into the gunfight. It's the right place, right time for him. Not a problem if he dies in this situation. Should be spawning on the far left-hand side of the map. And if he doesn't, I'll be surprised. But there we go. Seattle with a hold. How long can they keep it together? We're going to watch Hook now as our Game Fuel featured player as he makes his way in through the front. Not an easy thing to do. Baiting now for his teammates. Wonderful bits of shots, but Octane, a big win from him. Do what Hook does now on spawn. Not too much of a journey to make chance as he gets back into the point. And that was interesting as well. Empire just basically trying to flood that through the front. I don't know if they had preparation that said that Seattle likes to play his spread, go over towards bus, but out of basically four stack the actual hill pretty much easy gunfights for them to win just if everybody's gonna flood and well they'll take advantage to get some time but now they're getting chopped down just a bit and frankly someone just needs to be collecting this time they're trying to get all this control of elbow but ended up losing about 10 seconds on the break but not too shabby they get the clearance a little bit of breath and maybe for Persini's on a four spree it might be a situation where he needs to get these streaks Trying to make this 100-point comeback. Oh, there it is. Hook was a huge one. That, that is so big. Just stop Pristini in his tracks there. Not let him get any hotter than he already is. Now you're all good. Still over towards the boulevard we go. Gunless is going to be on your screen again. We give Hook a lot of love there, being our Game Fuel featured player. But again, it's not easy. You see how hard it is to make these approaches towards these hard points. And Gunless just gets absolutely ripped there. An open hard point now. Krim trying to play for some information. A couple more picks if he can get it. Looney with a nice two-piece there. Oh, and Krim's had to slow right down. Can he find the ankle? Oh, the soft underbelly of Pristini. He does just about get it. And that nade come through. Seattle now holding the line. Dallas playing the trades very effectively. But what they're doing right now is huge. Just keeping Seattle off of the point. Surge unable to make anything out of this Boulevard Hill so far. So far, so good, though. Maybe I'm just trying to stabilize just a little bit because so far they've just been getting outclassed. And maybe even long term, you see what Hook's doing. He's not fighting for this time. He's just trying to keep these players at bay and make sure that you're set up and ready to go just for these next set of hills. Dallas Empire, they know the game plan. Have at least a, a moderately decent P1. And more importantly, never lose those spawns. Keep control and you'll be good to go. So shots he's already swung out towards Eskies to watch that lane. You still got Illy over towards Globe to make sure no one floods through the street. First kill coming through from him. And while he's doing this, his teammates just hanging out, backing Ooh. up that hill time. That was a tasty 1v1 fight and a big one for Pristini to win. This now gives him the option now to push the, not only through the big door towards Metro, but also now make some clearance on towards the next hard point spawns. So, Grim on point now holding this one down. 21 and 14 overall. We are seeing the battle from Illy straight off spawn as he goes back to take care of those attackers in the middle of the map. And Illy can't quite win it. Pristini's hand remains hot. Able down to maybe make some of the approach towards the hard point, but you have to make something happen quickly because it's 20 points for the win for Dallas. And Hook's on a five spree. We're still going to see the hard point remain in their hands and chance. Could it all come unraveling together at the end? Seattle have got to go perfect from here on out. Oh! oh. go perfect. Well, Hook is just not going to let him, dude. Instant two-piece score streaks that he does not need. Empire going to just have, a, again, just an outclassing level of performance. Set up on the rotation and Hoop just going for some highlight sprees towards the end. Hot damn from him, nine at the moment, as his teammates not even gonna let him get the tenth, or maybe Persini <laughs> tries to feed him, but GG done and dusted. More than a hundred point victory for the Empire, and frankly for them, did you expect anything less?
I'm not sure. Again, we saw a wonderful resurgence there from Seattle. I hesitate to say a surge of life, but they really did do a good job in pulling that one back. It was a, it was a hundred plus point deficit. They managed to make it a lot closer. But again, Moscow is a real punishing map. I I, I draw it back to like what um, a seaside hardpoint was like in BO4. Again, rotation heavy. If you lose those rotations, you're down a good 20 to 15 seconds easily on the on the next hard point. But again, Dallas, right place, right time. The breaks didn't have to be that great because they had the rotations typically. They were always there first and set up for a watertight, even in the Moscow rain. So brilliant stuff from them to open this series up. We saw some magic out of shots here in the center of the map. And again, our Game Fuel featured player who did a fantastic job all round. I think it might have been a 10 towards the end. He may have just got that kill chance. And I will say, I, I might have missed someone right off the opening break of like someone for Empire flanking around to get the spawns, but for Surge to win the opening break, get more of the kills and to lose spawns immediately, if it didn't block or if they got flanked, whatever the problem was, it, it just sort of seemed like a bad sign for me. And I think even halfway through, Looney at one point was quintuple negative, Gunless at one point double or triple negative. They were just getting outslayed from top to bottom. And well, it results in the scoreline. It results in the scoreline, and it was a nine for Hook in the end. Boohoo. We'll see if he can get a 10 in the next one. But there we go. That's going to be the first half point done now. Dallas with a 1-0 lead here against Seattle Surge in this series. It's our Game Fuel marquee match, friends. You don't want to miss the exciting Search and Destroy around the corner. It's going to be a quick commercial break. When we come back, more card. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, here in the Call of Duty League, and it's time to get right into our game fuel keys to victory chance. It's Dallas up first. And as long as this team is winning searches, they are going to be good to go. I think, honestly, Atlanta Phage just has their number in the game mode. That is where four of the losses for Empire come into effect. But the only other series Empire have lost this entire year was to the Minnesota Rocker. Well, they lost both the searches in that series. So, hey, win the game number two, and you'll be good to go. Checkmate, of course, an interesting map for this team as well. Again, they're three and one on it. All three of their wins have been in round 11. Yeah, for Dallas now, it's just improve search and destroy at all costs. You saw Atlanta did to them in the finals a major one. They do not want that to be the case again. Now, let's take a quick look at the game field keys to victory for the Seattle Surge, my friend. And I think really, well, you just want to focus on that s and point. Just got to keep things mixy. Seattle Surge might honestly be one of the most creative teams, if not the most creative team on Checkmate Search and Destroy specifically. The number of different strats I've seen these guys pull out of the bag. I mean, it seems like they constantly have an extra thing up their sleeve. And well, going to need to bring that to the table against Dallas because they will be very well prepared. Fortunately for them, the steal of hard point did not come into effect on Moscow, but after that raid on that before, they were able to be able to put something together. And I will say Pristini, I mean, he had a, a hell of a series a, a few days ago, and even from map number one, he played pretty well, uh, at least in terms of slaying production, but it's actually the rest of Surge that just a little bit too far behind, so 
at this point, it's not a, a one-man show, a collective effort. Everybody make sure they pick things up from map number two. Yeah, also, you said we're seeing wonderful work out of Seattle Surge, but let's have a look at the quick scope now, presented by Scuff. And again, it's that glowing 0 and 7, and it seems to keep growing, Chance, when it comes to the control win and loss ratio right now for Surge. But uh, to be totally honest, I'm like, if you guys can improve upon the Surge, which is already getting tighter and tighter, and if you can keep these big games against top teams going in the hard points, who needs a win in control? Come on, who needs it? You can win series without it. They say Search and Destroy wins championships. It ain't control. That's just a little, that's just the middle of a series. The middle bit, right? <laughs> I mean, dude, if there's any like mode to be bad at, they pick the correct one. <laughs> but uh, again, just the level of competition that this league has. Like how many maps are gonna come down the wire, right? If you just happen to lose a round 11 in Search and Destroy because another team makes a good read or you lose a key gunfight. Some maps will just go that way. If you constantly are gonna be just giving the team confidence in the map three, it's gonna be a problem. So obviously they're gonna be putting in work. I know this has been a focus point for the team and obviously that won't be till the next map, but I'd say obviously a, a must win map here for Seattle. You go down 2-0 done and dusted so gotta go big you know, check. gotta go big well we'll see how big they can go dallas stay away from round 11 i feel like that is a, a victory condition for them in itself <laughs> if you just don't don't let it happen get it done before then see how they go but again it's going to be a little bit of an a stack and here we go this is that consistently inconsistent key to victory that we want to be giving towards Seattle Surge. Trying different things, making sure that Dallas don't have a clue what's going on. Stini's made his way all the way forward towards that A-bomb. Billy, peeking around the corner. Might just see the right leg. Just about. Oh, baby. Nice shots again. The Krig, perfect weapon for that engagement. Stini dealt a ton of damage. Got him down to 27. But again, it was going to be the bullet penetration that got it done in the end. Looney now and Gunless. Just trying to oscillate over towards the A side of the map. Try to get an eye on Illy. Maybe a bullet in him while he's weak. And Looney crossed. I think he saw that. I'm pretty sure he saw that. Krim got him. There we go. Great comms from Dallas early on to 2v4. Yeah, Dallas clearly done their homework. That is a strat that Seattle, again, they have plenty, but will pull out the bag occasionally. Looking for a pick down A Street. Billy makes the read, and he does get spotted by Pierce, but still wins the gunfight. And, well, Octane gets the trade, but he's in a 1v3 in Krim 6. Not intent. Letting Octane do anything created, but, again, I think that's just job well done by Illy on the homework front. You know they like to pressure A Street occasionally. And I think the biggest thing, just the stun check right at the start, seeing if anything's around in Illy. That's why he's able to creep up and take his time. So job well done for Empire going up 1-0. See what they can bring to the table now on offense. I'm excited to see if Dallas, you know, on the defensive rounds, they should have a plan that basically sets you up to find out your information early on and then adapt to whatever the other team's doing. And that was great. That honestly was really good. It helps that they all win their ones as well. Grim now on offense, just trying to get some shots through. Christini wins the gunfight against Shotzi point blank there on the bomb site. Now Krim going to bring the Krig forward. Ellie now just below that wing, going to be backing him up as much as he possibly can. Looney at the back of the plane. Nice shots, but it's not going to be enough to get it done. Gunless's kill on Illy there is going to make this even harder. So Seattle surge on the defense. Two crucial individual engagements go their way. Octane, all he has to do is stay here. They know the bomb is down on the B-bomb site. Grim's going to try to find a pick elsewhere, but it's going to be on Hoop to just hold that line down. 45 seconds chance to play with this. And honestly, we could see that whole round go out and the action just end up towards the final seconds. Towards the final seconds, but really, this is just operation. How are you going to pick up that bomb? Octane throwing shoulders like crazy, and the other two players for Seattle uh -oh. right on the back steps. Hook maybe finds an opening, but gunless. The trap was set. He's there for the trades. I got to deal with the plane gunfights. Crim6 probably just going to slide out and go for it. And well, while he's doing that, again, he's surrounded. Gunless is back Ooh. on the street. Looney back on the plane. Find somewhat of an opening, but again, you're just going to have to slide out and ego challenge. Try to make it work, and Octane eventually there. To chop them down and win the gunfight. Seattle getting the job done, but all of this comes down to literally just the first blood for is able to get. You kill the guy on bomb site, and then after that, it's like, hey, it was one of the best ARs in the world. Octane, go stare down this lane forever. Never give it up. We'll be sure to win the round. Seattle, nice bounce back on D. Really good. I was getting ready to scream Krim. That's my goat. Like, if he managed to win that gunfight as well, like, level the playing field, but man, that was a, a worthy effort from. From the GOAT, as far as I'm concerned. At me on Twitter. Shotzi does finally get to the bomb site uncontested this time. Illy's backing him up. They're going to get the trophies down. Oh, nice big win. Such a tight angle to find. Brilliant job. Shotzi's now gunning for the second. Prasini's heavily hurt. Illy's going to go in and finish it. 
Textbook stuff. Our Dallas Empire. Gunnus is going to come to the right at the back of the plane, but oh my god, wait. Oh, Gunnus does get it. Octane's got top control now. Krim on the rebound immediately. The trades are effective, but it's a little too late. Octane now in a 1v2, and that's going to be the final kill. Dallas, very, very good work. And again, keep Dallas guessing. Keep them off their toes. Don't run into the gunfights. You know what the skill's like. You don't want to be taking straight fights against these players. You saw that trade on plane. That was so decisive. Great round. And just hyper aggressive on defense as well. I, I will say when you're looking at these teams and offense compared to defense, well, obviously a, a defense heavy map across the league. Uh, defensive rounds have been won 64% of the time. I will say for Dallas Empire, that's probably their focus point. They're only winning 32% of their offenses. This is really what they need to try to figure out. And Well, maybe there's an idea. Pull out an AR and go through the plane through the front, but Illy just losing the gunfight to Pristini for the first blood. Not an easy way. Start out an offensive round. Oh, speaking of offensive the push from Hook there, just that run forward, couple of shots, run back. Now everyone on Seattle panics. Damn it, we let Hook through. That just that causes so much damage. Christini and Looney have got to move back towards that B, the A bomb site. Octane has to watch all of B now on his own. Looney looking to get on the board. Shots is just on the other side of the bomb site. Nice bit of work from Pristini. I wonder if they caught eyes on the bomb. The bomb's not an easy thing to spot in this game, but if they do manage to get that information, what an angle from Krim, by the way. If they do manage to get that information, that allows them to set up around it, and it looks like that might be the case. Octane, great work on Hoop. No problem whatsoever. Krim now, I'm going to say it's a 1v3 that surely he doesn't win. Seattle recover, and now we're at 2-2. And the repositioning there from Octane was on point, right? You had two players pushing down Tetris to try to hunt him down. Doesn't take the gunfights, doesn't allow himself to get sort of tag-teamed in the 2v1, no bait and switches. He just runs to the other side of the plane, plays up on the wing where his teammates can be there to support him. Ends up working out just beautifully. And this Empire, when they try to hunt him down, just do not know where to look. We'll tie things up at 2-2. But right now, 4-4 four for four for these defensive round wins. This is where Seattle likes to get creative, try to play out towards the A street. And whether or not they want to try to plant the bomb on A, I don't know. But if they can find the pick, Ooh. that is a great way to start Octane there for the first blood. Yeah, it seems we go A for kills, but then ultimately plant B after you've like whittled the numbers down. But again, planting the bomb seems to lead to more success in this game than not. Krim? Nice throw. Hands on both. Still, information gained. The rest of the team's going to move around this one. Shotzi's still not giving up top plane. That's very, very key now. It's Krim. He's also going to be repositioning. So maybe, maybe. Oh, no. Who's done it again? In and out. Hee <laughs> hee. Bye, guys. I got my kill. I'm out. You have to watch for that every round. That is so annoying. That's so annoying to deal with as a player. Now it's a three on three. And honestly, you got to watch out. Who's that player at the back? Was it Gunners? Yeah, the player's now making their way through. Grim's going to reposition, still over eyes all over A. Shots, he's on the B-bomb site. Octane, oh, we like that. He's a tall man. Up over the top he goes. Gook, can't finish it. 2 HP for Octane. My word, chance. 25 seconds left on the clock. We've been a dream. And now actually got the two players basically just flooding towards the back steps. Big win from Gunless, though, basically just to seal the deal. And who? The game fuel player trying to make the plays for the 1B3, but the trades too quick, Ooh. too clean. And the offensive round win has been found. I will say, letting Hook just kind of slip in and finding that kill A street it is just a big mishap. You know a player is going to be around A bomb or playing P2 or something. Just make sure you don't get shot in the back. But either way, it's something Seattle likes to do. Play that A street, find a pick, eventually wrap back and start working that B bomb site. Making it work for them there. And keep in mind, you got Pristini on a four spree and Octane on a three. Score streaks maybe not devastating on this map, but certainly nice to have in the back pocket if you can get them. Definitely uh, disruptive. Maybe not as devastating in the kills department, but they're going to make a play with them. Nice catch. What a throw from Krim. Almost a two-piece. Illy's going to make his way forward. Pristini, the fast retreat. Good stuff. Gunless is going to get caught in the crossfire, but man, it's a massacre under the plane. Octane now in a one versus two. Those two players are above him. They're probably going to slide out. He might hear something. He does, but it's just too late. Luke is too fast, too dangerous. And if you're going to keep winning rounds like this on the trades... No problem, but man, what an opening stick from Krim there. Great way to get it started. And honestly, just an aggressive play call. Again, Seattle has a ton of different things they like to do on defense. Occasionally, they will stack up underneath the plane. I think we've honestly seen a similar situation for Neptune finding a two-piece underneath. Well, this time, the stick from Krim helps out, but the swarm is just in. It is not fun being down low, and these players can jump off the plane, have different angles. More importantly, just land the nade on top. And, well, you see Hook. He does not want to deal with A Street pressure again. They've double stacked it. And oh. There's nothing there. You can see Hook is flying through. Flying through. 
Great read from Gunless, though. Picks up the aggression, takes clean care of it. Shotzi now backs on up. A big win versus Pristini. Looney on the bomb. The shots are going to be there. Shotzi's still good, though. The tags were coming through. Looney, veteran plays, holds his line. Nerves of steel. Kills are there. But now Illy. A 1v3. Looney. Goes down, 1v2, big tags. Octane's got to chase him down and get these kills. Surge on the hunt. Illy though, he may have juked him. The sh oh my God, is he still good? Oh my God, Illy's still good, 1v1. What is happening, Octane? You've got to find something. He's just shot. Oh my, Illy! Oh. What in the name of Dallas? What was that round? That was disgraceful. Diabolical stuff from Illy to stay alive and win those fights. There's your tactical scuff. That, for all of it, that's the highlight reel right there. What the hell? God, and you just can't let that happen, man. Illy earning his paycheck today. The finesse king on checkmate. Sealing the deal for the Ooh. round win. And that is a momentum drainer for Seattle. Need to find a way to bounce back, or maybe just for Illy. Go and shut them all down. This man can do whatever he wants at this point. Rocking the QBZ off the rip, but frankly, I just want to use the Diamati. Why not? Yep. Whatever he wants, let him do it. Heavy A stack now from Seattle Surge. They're going to try to bounce back aggressively. Don't let Dallas take this confidence and run with it. Grim tagged up. Gunless there first. Nice bit of work. Now he and Pristini are going to make their way forward. Kriggs are up. Not going to let these fights go down. You know how dangerous Illy can be. Ian Shotzi now with full plane control. Able to maybe get on top of this bomb site. You got all the members now of Dallas. Pretty much upstairs. Going to be Hook now watching the low plane. Shotzi's tagged. Looney's going to make this real difficult. But Hook's now on the hunt. He's on the prowl. Hitting the back plane immediately. Looking to find these kills. It's on Gunless to make sure he doesn't get by. Looney... Right place, right time. Good shots. That's fantastic work. And it's Illy once again on his own. And oh, Seattle have learned quick. He got the kill there. But the trade came through immediately. And now we're 4-4. And again, outside of that 1v3, this could be a 5-3 game. I think Seattle might hold the crown for like best team in the game of just utilizing a street on this map in search and destroy. They do it on offense looking for picks. They do it on defense. Like how often do you see a team triple stack a street on defense of all things? And then funnily enough, because they mixed it back enough, like I think the strat that Dallas Empire was expecting was maybe pressure coming from the top of the plane. That's why they double stacked the corner because we've seen Persini do it. Sometimes he just flies through, but it is just guesswork as to what Seattle is going to bring to the table and Octane for the first blood. Digging down Illy as well. Massive one for him to win. Yeah, that's the Krig at its finest right there. Big, big win. The headshot to seal the deal. Krim does the same thing essentially, but... Making sure that left street is completely safe. Now the bomb making its way over towards A for the time being in this good old 3v3. Grim still holding those lanes. Very, very small windows to work with here as he looks across the map. But again, any information is good information right now. I'm not sure how many members of Dallas saw the players cross, but maybe they did because you can see their defensive formation now. Much more eyes on towards the A street, but that could be enough of a play just to juke them over the way across. Looney? The tags, beautiful work. Hook's gonna re-challenge. Hook's gonna re-challenge. Looney can't, he doesn't have to go down. He's not gonna stay alive in this situation unless Krim makes the play. There are nades everywhere though. Krim gets out without a shred of damage, but he's now in a 1v2. Octane down low, guns him. And with that, Seattle are on map point. Dude, and it's just, I, I don't even gonna call it like good or clean work in the A street, but they just find a way to make it work, man. Cause you drop the bomb over towards P2 with 25 seconds on the clock. It could be potentially dire, but they had the man advantage. And again, Looney, I mean, I don't know how many times I've seen him do it, but even just picking the players right out of exit, this A street just sort of domination from Seattle. It's not even necessarily been catching them off guard, but it just seems like Dallas Empire having so much difficulty managing it. Maybe on offense, now they're trying to do the same thing. Maybe learn from your opponents. See if you can make some magic happen, or maybe hook. Just waiting for a potential flank to come through. You see, his teammates got his back, Illy watching over him. So they're tired of A Street being a problem. They are just finding a way. <laughs> Make sure they don't get punished. But even still, they're doing all this. They have zero information as to what sort of Seattle setup they're working with outside of, well, they're not pushing through A. Tension. True tension right now, Dallas. Not the situation they want to be in. It's going to be another round 11 for them if they can win this one. And while they may have the metal and the resolve to win those situations, like, you really don't want to be there. You just want to be able to win these, like, much more comfortably. And Illy's going to get it started in a nice first blood. Looking towards that more sided of the plane. 
Octane with a nice answer back. Illy in the same place. Oh, the trades are there. Illy putting the QBZ away and picking up a Krig now. That helps a lot. Looney's made a lot of noise. A bit of damage dealt to the bomb carrier there, and the bomb's going to go down. I like this awareness, though. Just mindful of that players on A Street. And Looney may have found a window. Oh, my word. Looney may have found the window. Does he go for it? Does he go for it? Unless it's a big one. Looney's last player left alive. On the bomb, he is. A nice win. Shots, he's tagged up at the back, but still too many members there of Dallas Empire. And oh, chance. Will history continue to repeat itself? It's around 11. Will Dallas close this one out? Battle between Seattle, who is undefeated on this map at 3-0, versus, well, the 3-1 Dallas Empire, but they are just hyper successful in these round 11s. So the Dallas Empire camp, important for them to get defense and no luck on this one. They got to be on the attack, but you can see how they made it work last time, right? Hook played that A Street, goes on the perfect flank, and Seattle Surge had no idea. Maybe let Hook be the island player once again, and they might be going for the exact same strat. Get Hook up towards A Street. Illy watching his back to make sure he can get there. And after you get this bomb down to B, just let Hook do his thing and make those plays. Deja vu all over again. And <laughs> Well, that just means we get to see if Seattle can make the adjustment. Can they make the adjustment? First blood will be crucial. It's gunless now. Justini on wing. Gunless by A. Oh, there's gunshots. Gunless lands a couple of tags. Oh, he picks an early. Same and same every time, but there's the trade. Rossini goes down after finding just the one, and it's going to be a 3v2. Seattle Surge now starting to bleed out. There's 50 seconds left on the clock. Illy's going to keep holding that line. You've got those two members of Seattle. It's going to be Octane. It's going to be Looney. They are in the plane, hoping to find something here. The flank could be on. Dallas are moving that bomb by the right-hand side street. They are moving it. Octane has not turned his head yet. Have the spidey senses start to tingle. Oh, that's going to be a little bit more of a tingle as Krim finds the kill as well. Looney now, 1v3. And Dallas, they're not going to play this the way you expect them to. They're going to hit the back steps of the plane, maybe the side wing, and overwhelm Looney on point. First kill, can't even get it. Dallas once again. Round 11 prowess. But is it truly an improvement for the squad? I'm not sure if they're going to be actually happy with that. A win may be a win, but the goal is to truly improve at the game mode and on this map as well. And it seems to be the same play. Still, you'll take it. 2-0 in the series. I was going to say that. They'll be very happy with that, I think. Maybe you think it's sloppy, but you just get more reps on this map. It might be around 11, but Seattle is just a team that shows a ton of different looks. And Dallas Empire, the team that just keeps making the big play. Shout out to Illy, man. The 1v3, so clean in search and really just the strat calls even towards the end, sending three players around the back of the plane just to hunt Octane down and make sure no craziness happens. Even the gunfights they had on Gumless just getting caught out on the A-bomb trapped in between a hook and whoever it was down low but solid stuff from both teams but empire with the job done illy leading the charge 12 kills to his name where's that 1v3 typical unbelievable well there you go your stats we're gonna look at those uh the u.s army tactical plane just a moment and yeah it's gonna be illy it's gonna be that 1v3 it was a real delight to watch and we thoroughly enjoyed it and uh again i think for dallas as well what a uh what a fantastic, fantastic search, all things considered. Uh, again, Chance, you feel like it's good reps all in all, but we'll see. In the long run, can they improve? Can they truly improve at the game mode and start handing out like absolute bodies on, the, on these rounds? I mean, I think if anything, Seattle is just kind of showing off how to work the A street, both on offense and defense. So I think for Dallas, they'll just treat it as a learning opportunity. And then for the actual 1v3, well, the first kill, typical. You get the AR down the lane, you'll make it happen. But then the plays with the Diamati, sneaks under the plane. Neither player can see him. He's finally able to heal up and then gunless, just caught between mantling and jumping and falling. Shreds with the first pistol and Octane. I don't know, just the game, a ring around the rosy. He's expecting the slides back and forth, oh. but Illy pulled the disappearing act. Caught Octane with his pants down, gets that round win. And by the end, you saw what it turned out to be, the dagger round. Clutching up to make sure you're <laughs> set up and ready to go. Chuckling for the 1v3 win. Loving it. Well, that's that. Search and destroy complete. When we come back after this break, it's going to be control. And, well, you know how this one may end, but you got to tune in and find out.
Call of Duty League is presented by T-Mobile, now America's largest and fastest 5G network. Set your sights on the competition with T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. The outsiders staring down the barrel of defeat at this point in time as we go into a control matchup. It has not been their best game mode by a long shot. And again, I worry for the confidence of this team chance. We've seen some incredible things. Obviously, Dallas is a literally a top-tier opponent. But at the same time, you have to give that absolute all. We're going to quick look now at Gunners and Octane, the overall KDs. Boys got to put in a little bit more if we, uh, if we want to see some big old turnarounds from them. And I mean, really one of the craziest things, rather than just this side-by-side -side comparison, but looking at this team specifically on control, even just on defense, every single map we have is defensive favored. Granted, Braid is basically 50-50, the other two a little bit more slanted. This is the only team in the game that collectively has a negative KD on defense and control. And Octane, by the way, is one of the top KDs in the game. Like, for control, like, he's certainly up there, but everyone else can't find the kills. So whether it's a team thing or the way they're playing these maps, whatever it's gonna be, just a whole host of problems that they're gonna have. And even for Garrison specifically, they're two and three on their defensive rounds. And ordinarily across the league, like 74% or something like that are won by the defensive team. They're one of only three teams that have a negative KD on defense. Like, I cannot hammer the point home anymore. They're not winning the defenses on the defense heavy maps. They're not getting the kills at all to even get the defense in the round fives if they get there. It has just been the, the struggle point for sure for this team. Maybe in the week and a half break, whatever it was that they had post the tournament, they've carved out some extra little things that they want to try on Garrison. They can show off a little bit of that here, but obviously a very tall task. Tall task indeed. I think the opportunity is to do it though, absolutely. And if any team, you know, you're going to catch unaware, Dallas would be a difficult one to do, but wish you the best of luck as we get into this one. But again, for Dallas, this is another day in the office, a map that they have got a good record on. They know exactly what they're doing. And I was thinking back to what you said about Octane having one of the highest KDs and control of these in eighth overall. It reminds me of domination last year in MW. Like despite the fact the team wasn't performing particularly well, he kind of just sort of set himself up at the back and found loads of kills no matter what was happening. Like, it just seems to be the case time and time again. But hey, let's see what Seattle Surge have got in this map. We're going to be going into Garrison Control in just a moment. I believe we're still waiting on one of the players to get into the lobby. I can see who it is. It's Hook. That's it, mate. Accept the invite. We're real close. You, can just, you know what it's like, man. There he is. He's in the lobby. Let's get it, baby. <laughs> let's get it. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. The game's starting now, ladies and gentlemen. Map number three, garrison control between Dallas and Seattle. And this should be a fun one. And Chance, you are right. Let's put eyes on those defensive rounds. This is a defensive heavy map statistically. Let's see if Surge can't find some special source here. But again, for Dallas, you have to think that they're going to have some more tricks up their sleeve when it comes to winning the offense. It's probably why garrison got through. But enough of that. It's time for game three. And just something for the fans playing at home. Want something extra to keep track of. What Seattle actually really likes to do on this map on defense for garrison control, they will constantly send their SMG players, Looney and Persini, up through green, which I will say off the opening, if the B point is on board, it's great, because if you get the SMGs out towards trash, under sky tank, they could be annoying, play corners, whatever it's gonna be, but I'd say later in the rounds when they keep doing it, well, then you just have your SMGs dealing with green, and it's not the ARs locking it down, so a lot of the rounds that they've lost are basically just letting the teams bully their way through green just sort of having their way to jump out towards A. So if you just want to keep up with that long term, of course, though, Seattle on offense, on the attack, and all four players right towards B. Yep. 
It's a dog pile, right on point. Nice shots from Octane, good trades though all around. I mean, you're gonna see Shotzi win his 1v1 in the, in the vents there, and now it's Looney straight on point. The contest is there. He's gotta look both ways before crossing this street. And he just got hit by an early. Brilliant stuff from Dallas on the defense here. Are we going to see the same thing repeated now? But look at the aggression from Dallas. They got three down there. And within a blink of the eye, they were right across the map, already through vents. Now they're going to be pushing through the green alley. Look at Shotzi there, already trying to deal the damage to Surge on spawn. You can see the idea too. They're just taking their time, trying to group up as four and take their time. The Nade sort of just giving that information away. And number three, Illy, he's the man that's actually watching the vents push out. So he'll start taking these gunfights soon. Wants to go help out his teammate, but his teammates don't need the help. Everybody for Empire getting kills. And well, Crim6 trying to slide in for the trades. He gets dealt with, but everyone else on Empire in the spots they want to be in annoying corners. So hard to get past. Yeah, really hard to get past. Now they have managed to get a few players through. It is going to be Looney who managed to lead the charge there. Gunless goes down. Looney's tagged up. Octane now supporting him on the push forward. Decent timing there in the play. You're going to get the trades irrespective of what happens to Looney, but... Now you start to see some love in towards the B zone. Clock has been stopped. Looney's going to try to hold this one alone. Octane backing him up at long range, but oh no. Illy. Illy's on the flank. Illy's now going to be able to rip this wide open unless Pristini can stop him just about. The push out from Hook through the middle. He's going to pick up the, the rest of these trades and it is just like clockwork from Dallas Empire. Pristini will win another individual fight, but it may be too late. The clock still ticks. And in a brief few moments, Shotzi may be able to find himself a few more kills. And with that, Dallas, a very coordinated and calculated effort. Round goes their way. And Miles, I know I read off pretty much every stat imaginable <laughs> to hammer the point home that Seattle struggles on defense, but the story is the exact same on offense. They don't really get the kills there either. I don't know if Gunless got one towards the end, but he was sitting on a donut towards the, the start of the round as well. So it is, again, just a slang sort of performance. Four stack B end up losing the lives, and as soon as they lose map control, there's just simply nothing they can do. But it is a defensive sided map, so Seattle needs to clutch up. And again, they love to flood the subs out of top green, which can be great when B's on the board, but occasionally has cost them deeper into these rounds. At least for me personally, I want to see if they make any adjustments. Well, we'll see how the adjustments go, but we'll be doing it from the ears of Dallas. Let's go for a very quick Astro Gaming listen in with the Dallas Empire. I'm flying at him. I'm weak. I'm just hurt, yo. Yo, yo, Sam, Sam, one shot, one shot. One stop green, top green. Yo, yo, we could go in. Oh shit, yo, one more. I'm picking up him. He's that con. Where's he for He's that con. I'm on A. I'm. I have a trophy on us. I have a Someone ever pinch? Yeah, I have a pinch. Yo, deep right, deep right, Pierce. Another guy. They could pinch low green, but I think it's break. Missing Looney. Good. Yeah, that was yeah, 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 yeah. Make sure you get the tap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Break shot in. He went back there. He went deep back. He didn't go top of the right, 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 right. 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 oh, I tried to run. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. You guys got this. Yeah, one shot. One shot. Yeah, one shot. Right alley. One shot in the corner. Porter. In the corner. One is on B. One is... Yeah, there's two on B. Yeah, we should probably go... You guys have A? Okay, one shot A. There's gonna go two top green. Two going top green. I have it. I have it. Well, chance there. We heard it from Dallas Empire. I think they've uh, christened a certain part of the map Diamond Con after what clearly is a, a favorable spot for the young man. I mean, hey, you'll take the call as but I, I just want to throw this out there uh, again. The moment where they actually got through on A, it is Pristini that got sent up to try to go top green. He loses one gunfight, and then Empire just able to come out here for free. They haven't dealt with the B point at all. I think this team honestly might have seen the same thing I did, and just trust yourself to flood out green and try to get A first. Admittedly, still not easy. The clearance is eventually there as the ARs for Surge able to find a couple kills. And well, now if you're on the attack, you're getting a little bit problematic as you're running out of time and you can see Empire responding. Now they're starting to work their way towards B. Yeah, B is going to be the sort of safety net at this point in time for the contests. But Illy is not going to let this one go. Oh my God, good timing. Wonderful teamwork. Shotzi's going to be able to get the stop there. There's going to be the grab of the point. 20 odd seconds remaining, 25 now. Clock will be stopped. Looney's going to make a big play on his own. Can't quite get it done. No one to pick up the trade just yet. We do have a decent bit of map control right now for the members of Dallas Empire. Grim's already on top caution. Eyes all over towards this one. B's going to be all but done. And man, what a turnaround that is. You've got yourself a minute and 25 seconds now to attack this single tick of A. And there are 10 players left for Seattle Surge. 17 for Dallas Empire. 
and again, this is just, it's gonna be too clean. Now the AR is actually here, so maybe an opportunity to go big and loony with a massive one-on-one -on -one to sort of clear out his base, and his teammates are helping him out to take care of Hook, and there's one defensive stand, and with a minute left, now you can actually set up for spawn kills. This is when it's nice to get your subs inside of green, but they can start making some moves, and well, loony lasts for about a second and a half before Illy just rips his head off. Oh, boy. That's the head clean gone. Christini gets involved there once again with the QBZ. We love to see that from that spot. Octane Looney now locking this one down. Coming up on 40 seconds remaining now in the round. 10 lives left now for Dallas Empire to the eight of Seattle Surge. Christini hears the slides. He knows these players are out and about. Does not want to give up that green control. Grim does win a big one from Floating Tank. Here comes the push now from Dallas Empire. It's going to be a right hook there from Illy to get the kills done. Now Hoot wins his as well. You're on the point. 27 seconds and the clock has stopped. Here come the bodies from Dallas Empire. The kills are going to be there. No one in place to stop it. In one fell swoop, Dallas Empire take the round. Hey, dude, and I, I really, I really just want to Seattle. Just, like, off the rip, just send four players towards A and just stack it from the start or something. Like, it, it's just constantly, it seems like teams having too much of an easy time just getting out to the A point. And that was the entire game plan for the Empire to start the round of just, hey, keep putting this pressure on. They do not defend this site well. The fact that they're able to get two ticks on it before they even bother trying to cat B. And then, to take it a step further, by the time they decide they want to go cat B, it's easy for them. So Seattle and all the time where they're struggling to get A back, it's not even like they're getting map control and setting up for some spawn kills. They're just getting you know, fucked in their spawn and having so many problems getting out. And again, it's Octane with a decent KD and no one else across the board able to find these kills. Nice to watch Shotzi on the opening break now. We've seen him win his vent gunfights a few times now, and he is as close as he could possibly be. Christine's going to tag him with a nade. Oh, I love that. Back and forth we go. These players learning each other's tendencies, and he knows he's in there. He's tagged up. Shotzi versus Pristini in the vents, just for the sort of opening control there. Meanwhile, Seattle's going to win all the team fights. Hey, Looney comes to get involved. Pristini, it was a MacGuffin. We had our eyes on that one, but in reality, the rest of the map goes the way of Seattle. Big stuff from them. Krim immediately towards the A point. In a high value target indeed and they are not going to let that one go still there's about three about two members now of seattle on the point to be it's going to cap super fast super fast and honestly again just a harp on i want to point out empire basically just sent four players in around a for defense but looney the shred machine unfortunately gets caught trying to slide out towards a but either way for his teammates able to get b nice and under wraps a few lives are going to fall but they now have two minutes to work with to try to get clearance out towards this a point Yep, they're going to do what they can. Decent amount of time to work with. They're gonna great lives. 26 for Seattle Surge off the rip. They're 21 now remaining for Dallas Empire. You've got a lot of time and a lot of resources to work with. How will you spend them, though? That's the question. I've seen you trying to go into the top green. Does manage to get one. That's a great bit of work. Waiting now for his teammates to stack up around the brick side of the map before they can make that concerted effort to absolutely go for it. And here come the tags from Dallas. The players coming in off spawn. Krim gets a couple of big, thick, meaty bullets in on the side of those players. Meanwhile, Illy and Shotzi win their gunfights on A. So now you're all good. Pristini's in a very difficult situation, trying to battle forward. He does have Gunless to help him out. So let's see if these two buddies can make this one work out. Meanwhile, Dallas, map control going their way. Chance Seattle with another push, but a decent spot to be in. Let's see if they can make this work. Right now, waiting for the surge. Well, there's your first blood from Pristini. Challenges out for the next. The beatdown doesn't go his way, but Gunless there for the trades. Surges now have three players effectively setting up for spawn kills. Well, Octane's going to fall. Looney trying to go towards point. He wins the first one, but Shotzi has been in this area oh for the past minute and a half, and Looney finally drops him. Clearance towards A is there, but Hook on the flank. The man to worry about, able to get at least Octane on by his teammates' time. Oh, Pristini once again, heroics from him. What a kill that was. Nay's going to push Krim back, but they don't land the tags. Oh, not even the second one. So Krim's still here. He could bring this fight a little closer. But again, the A point is starting to go down fast. Second tick complete. Pristini's got to hold down the right side of the map. The kills are starting to come through. Shotzi slides on through, leads the charge. Diamati comes out. Octane finds another one. This could be the offensive round win that Seattle need. Is anyone there to grab it? No. Surge, stop it just in time, and it's 2-1. Can they win a defensive round now? Rush is certainly on, and they're probably going to have to win an offensive one if it goes to round five anyway, because I think they're still being outslayed, but Looney putting it work. Not even just for this best play. I think his life or two just before this, he was a player that sort of picked up two or three kills, flooding his way through green to get the opening. 
And honestly, the, the communication probably on point from Seattle Surge as well, just because after they sort of dropped the ball a little bit on their first attack towards A when they had the swarm, well, Rossini and Gunless take their time, set up for the kills, wait for their teammates to come help them out, make that nice secondary push. So Seattle, they certainly have the fight in them. Not out of it yet. Not out of it yet. You love to see this. These big signs of life, these smart plays, these crucial wins there from Surge. How many more they got? Cheeky contest. He's very worried about the flank. Not so much about the nade. Maybe a bit of both. Is Krim still there by caution. He's going to be in a great spot to watch those players from lights. Make sure no one comes out through top green as well. The catwalk looks a little safer, but Octane, nice push. Very, very aggressive. The Surge now making their way forward. Gunless by the bottom of the flank tank. And Hoot's in trouble. Soon Hoot will be dead. Wonderful stuff already. Chance, I am liking what I'm seeing out of Surge. Can they keep this aggression up? Gunless with a nice pick. You're going to keep these players in trouble. If Octane could have won that, that would have been something special. But Pristini's there to get it. I am loving the trades from Seattle. He got trades everywhere except for Gunless, who doesn't need any. He's winning all of his ones in the feed. Persini's still staying alive, and all this map pressure is so problematic. And honestly, one of the best ways to win round on Garrison is to get streaks and Gunless. Certainly thinking about it in the back of his Ooh. mind, able to win his fifth on Krim. He's looking for two more. Has the call out for Ellie, but can't win the gunfight. No streaks for him, but with just 20 seconds left, Seattle in a phenomenal spot to get this defensive round win. Nice and quick as well. Very quick indeed. I mean, we've barely seen a contest, but there you go. Looney lands one more. There's going to be another push out from Illy. Octane's going to be there on the point just to hold that line perfectly. Gunless in the vents to make sure there's no shenanigans down low. And you love to see it. That should be that. No one in position to get the contest. Worried about the lives overall. Surge, get the defensive round win. And here we go. Final round. Round five now to decide it, chance. And who gets defense? I mean, uh, it was honestly a surely empire, but this final round, that was an 11 kill swing. Gun was obviously a major factor as to why, again, didn't even need the trades. He was just winning all of his gunfights. Illy maybe took him three or four attempts before he finally takes Gunless down, but there you go. Job well done. Stuffed him on defense in the round four to get it right back in round five. Got to make sure, though, that that opening break is on point. Seattle Surge putting in some work. They're putting in the work. This could be it. I'm not going to jinx them, but I'm going to let the gameplay do it. And they make the run. Can they pull this one back? Three straight rounds here on Garrison Control. It'll be Krim with the opening blood. And again, just watching this push now. Shot C. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. He wins it. Straight on A he go. That's going to be it once again. This is what we saw them do in the previous round when they did manage to win it. Big. Looney's going to get top green control shots. He's going to try to catch the spawners out. And that could have been a blessing for Octane. That backpedal. Just the reversal in that moment in time. Little shots he poke. Oh, doesn't finish his food. And he's going to get indigestion in the form of gunless. Here we go. Hook's on the flank. You've managed to make everything relatively safe so far. Honestly, who could go huge here? He's scared of stepping on the point, though. He, he doesn't actually want to go on flank and clear those players out of green because he doesn't want to give away this spot. But while he's done this, Seattle, all the map control in the world, and they are using it. Hook just has to find a way to go, finds the pick on Octane, and, well, he's probably thinking about the spawn kills. A couple players turn around, and the opening is there. Prim 6 is broken free, but not for very long. He gets shot in the back, and Hook got to make the hero play and can Ooh. only get one. He bought his teammates time to maybe get out of their spawn, but even still... Looney here waiting to go, and that time on the game clock is ticking. Still ticking away, and all you need to do for Seattle is hold the line. The final 13 seconds now down to the final 10. Here we go, baby. Dallas, they're winding up for a big push. Straight on the point they go. It's Illy. Has to dip off the point. Final 10 seconds. Is this it? Is this the moment? Is this the kills coming through? And it's going to be Pristini. It's going to be gunless. And you'd think they just won champs, but no, baby. Seattle Surge have finally done it. They've done it. They want to control! No one, Miles, I mean, no one is going to let Seattle Surge lose eight in a row. Seven is their max, and as everyone expected, I'm sure. Their first win, of course, against Dallas Empire of all teams. What is COD? What is life? Maybe <laughs> just for Seattle. Maybe going back to the drawing boards. Paid off, man. They had a week and a half after the major oh. to figure out what was going wrong on Garrison. Clutched up big with a couple rounds on defense and a big offensive win. 
down, but not <laughs> yeah. out and make it feel it, dude. They're working on the reverse sweep. The reverse sweep starts now as Seattle fans the world over have all thrown their beverages, probably coffee if you're Seattle fans, way into the air. We hope it was a cold brew because those burns suck. Here we go, baby. Let's look at the stats. And all in all, it was a great bit of work from the ARs there of Surge. Octane and Gunners put up great numbers. It was Illy went wild with a 5.3 thousand damage there. And man, what a comeback that was. Three straight rounds to finally get the dub. Have broken the seal now, Chance. Can Seattle possibly lose another control throughout their time here in the 2021 season? What a bold call Mr. Ross has made. We'll see if it comes true, but... Ooh. Find a bit of namaste before we get into that next hard point. We're going to be... Uh, Rolling into that one in just a moment. But we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll see if Seattle Surge can keep the run going and make this reverse sweep a reality. Boy, oh boy, would it be a delight. We'll find out what happens after this break. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, here at the 2021 Call of Duty League. This series has taken a turn for the best, if you're Seattle fans. Now we go to a raid hardpoint, which I believe is their pick in the vetoes as well. And, well, 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 chance, is this the beginnings of the comeback? Is this the makings of the reverse sweep? And, oh boy, what a team to do it against for Seattle Surge. I wonder if anyone did actually throw a coffee in the air, because seriously, not only is cleaning it off the ceiling would be terrible, but it's hot, you know, hot coffee, it burns, right? Uh, that would certainly not be fun, but speaking of things that burn, oh, the gameplay, scorching hot, coming out from the surge and control, credit where credit is due for making the adjustments, but looking at the, the hard points, obviously it was a feast from the side of Empire game one, everybody positive, plenty of hill time across the board, Trim6 and Ellie both with the minute and a half, and obviously that could be problematic on, on raid if Seattle's allow that to happen again, but if anything, it seemed like they made quite a few adjustments on that garrison control, even if they were giving up the pressure and letting people out through green. They did a lot better job of just getting that map control on defense and setting up for the spawn kills. This team has been putting in work and see if they, if anything, hooked up on raid. Frankly, you got the, the vibes blowing, a couple <laughs> players smiling as well. Happy Pristini is a dangerous one. Let me tell you. Well, we now go to Raid Hardpoint. Map number four in this series. What a turn it's been. I wonder how far we can honestly go. Because again, I think Seattle, like they, they know what they're doing on this map. We've seen some big wins in this one. I mean, this could be 
something special. Do it against Dallas Empire as well. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of chin and head scratching, maybe even at the same time. League across the world right now, but let's see how we go. Into raid. We are moments away, Chance, from seeing what Dallas have got in store. We know they're a very formidable team, especially in the respawns. Can Surge find that special something? Let's find out. And it may be a little bit jokey to talk about Illy on this map since him, Shotzi, and Hook were all pretty much in elementary school when it happened. But I think someone brought that up, talking about Black Ops 2 in this map for Illy. And he was like, this is when I win my first gold. So he's been playing Call of Duty since he was in diapers, just about going to be strong <laughs> on this map potentially. Another way for Empire. Nice little opening break as well to get this hill control. And even towards the middle of the map, they've identified the pressure. A couple players flooding in through pillars. Oh, here we go. Tracer, relatively even right now, is a bit of a pinch working out for Stinny leading the way. Oh, just about misses it on Hook there. It's about two bullets away from finishing that one up. And it's a decent start from Dallas all in all. Hook's on a fire spree. Hook is literally running rings around ring, finding shots in everything he can see. And there's a couple of ankles with his name on it. Do it, Hook! Do it, baby! Oh, Pristini spoils the run! That was, uh, that was something special there. I thought Hook was truly going to go on further, but we'll take it. Seattle, a few seconds. Now they've got to hit the rotate. Yeah, Persini with his first kill, but an incredibly important one to get. By the way, Shotzi playing an off angle. I don't imagine Gunless is going to spot check this and the stun lane's back basketball. So in my mind, Shotzi's got a free kill and Hook, well, the pressure's coming from the back. You can see he's actually going to back down, wants to be here with his team at his three players getting ready to flood in. Oh, here comes the flood. Looney's still alive at the back. He's going to stay alive for now. Krim's going to finally be able to get those kills. Over to our Game Fuel featured player, Hook. We saw what he did on Moscow. We were big fans. It was a wonderful spree to finish the map off. And for now... Gunless is going to put him on his back, but chance to see what he does as the rest of his teammates are flooding kitchen. Again, very similar to what you'd see, you know, when you're playing your own game, maybe in league play. Now you have to make the run, but who knows? He knows those players are going to be coming from the other side. Eyes on pool steps. Wants to make sure that no one makes their way in, but all things considered, this is a great play from Hook. But Seattle Surge making the read to decide instead to set up for the next one and not push for the final 20 seconds. And you can see Crim6 wanted to be early on the rotation, but the entire team of Seattle got there first, so... Uh, Hoop knows he needs to wait for his teammates, and it looks like the play calls to try to work your way through weight room. Leading the charge, corners check, but trophy's not out. That nade gonna slow him down just for a moment, and Ooh. the nade's gonna slow him down for a moment <laughs> longer. His teammates don't get the kills. He's stuck in the corner, and of course, Seattle, they know that he's here, but he found the opening, found oh. the time he got around back, but gunless there to get the job done. Seattle strong on the hold so far, and well, you expect nothing less. Rotated 30 seconds in advance to make sure they got here. Yeah, they better pay off. We gave up a lot of time in kitchen. But so far, so good. The gunless is holding the back of this van. Man alive, he's holding the back of this van. 74, you out. 5 HP. I don't care what you're wearing. The flak jacket's not going to save you then. Looney, Octane, they find their kills as well. So you're still good to go. As the last kills go through, Looney's going to grab the final seconds as the rest of the team pushes up. Man, what a run that was. Good holes all round. Surge is certainly not out of this yet. We are going to make our way over towards basketball. Top left-hand side of the mini-map, for those wondering. Gunless is trying to find what he can in the center of the map. Here comes the push through ring, trying to find that back kitchen control. Shots his eyes are on. Huke's going to be leading the charge. And here we go, boys. 74 U's. 74 U's. Two of them go through. And that's going to be all three of the attackers from the rear. Wonderful work in that 2v3 situation by back kitchen. So well done. Just a nice little double stack right there. And Crim6 actually now, he can push up and get a lot of map control for Steeny. Why would you ever check this? And well, Crim might fall, but he's calling out two pillars. Who gets the first trade? He can't quite get the second. But either way, they're going to be spawning back up right next to the hill. And for Seattle, they're going to be trotting to flood through the front. Right now, though, they might have to deal with a bit of a crossfire. Illy waiting in the corner. Well, he gets dealt with. Seattle Surge just breaking straight through the front. They're in. The surge is through. The pressure in. And the break successful. No full 60s for the Empire. 20 seconds of scrap time. Well worth it for Seattle to make sure the game doesn't get too far out of hand. Yeah, drowned out. Right there on the basketball court. Three guys hit the back now. And they're going to run into a very surprised Crim 6. Like, they hit it. Now they're going to flood through mid. You have a lot of Dallas presence in the center of the map. Three of them, to be precise. Whole squad is there now. Full team lined up and good to go. Crim's going to be by kitchen as well, so the guessing game begins. All angles now available for Seattle Surge to hit this pinch and the smack bang in the center of the mat. Hook's going to have his angle. Loses it to Octane. Shots, he's got his. Tagged up again by Looney. And Pristini's going to find his kill as well. So it's all on really. It's a magnificent break here from Seattle. Got it done in one. With that, they're going to be able to reap the time fantastically. 
And that was just perfect, absolutely perfect from Seattle. Took their time, waited for just a pinch from every single angle effectively to come through. And Pristini, by the way, starting to heat up. Look at just the streaks on the flip side. Ooh. Everyone's got three except for Looney, who's now on a five. Inside the point, his teammates got his back, and he can think about rotating for new. You got Empire coming from back laundry, and Looney picking a great angle to let this happen. If they try to get that hill control, he's going to be able to start shooting a couple of these players in the back. Octane joins him in the five club. There was a six there for Looney just before going down. Pristini and Octane still on their respective sprees. Hook, oh baby, almost makes it close. But again, now Octane on a six spree, one off of streaks. Again, here on raid, very useful indeed. Watching that rotation now towards the ring. Three-man push from Dallas, going to be hitting the laundry side. Will they fold those undies, or will they be folded upon themselves? Here comes the break. Gunless is still holding in the middle of the map. Hard point now wide open. Crim6 is going to try to lead the charge. Prasini's there in the hard point on the left-hand side. And would you look at that, a nice kill from Krim. Great position to be in heavy tags. Here comes the rest of Dallas to flood the point. Elliot Hook through the backside of the ring. A couple more kills go the way, but it's Gunners. It's Gunners once again. The slow push to from the middle. He's going to clean these players up. He's going to find those kills, and Seattle are going to hold the point. And hold the point, and they're doing a phenomenal job. This is a ridiculous run that they've just been able to go on. They were down by about 40 points by the tail end of basketball, and they have been perfect since then. Maybe not able to get the score streaks, but you do you need them if you're shooting like this? 50-point advantage, every single gun getting hot from the side of Seattle. And, well, they get one break here on Kitchen. They're going to put themselves in such a good spot. Four players flooding around the back. Krim oh. trying to deal with the ball, but Gunless has the gunny, able to pick up two. Back spawn secured, and if they get Hook out of the hill, they'll be good to go, and it is Gunless. Give him the seven. Give him the streaks. Player number three to go on a tear, and he gets the clearance for the final man. Eight kills for him. 50-point lead. Kitchen control on point. And they have been miles on an absolute tear. This is disgusting. Gunless finds no more there but assists. An unbelievable run from Surge. 200 points now cracked. Nine kills in a row for Gunless. Here comes 10. No, finally shut down. But man alive, what a spree this has been from Seattle. They are taking Dallas to the, imp the absolute ends of the game. Shotzi stuck between a rock and an octane. And he's going to find those kills. Still going. Can't let this one slide just yet. The surge pace right now is unmatched. Dallas have no answer to this level of aggression. If they slow it down now, they potentially cost themselves the map. So you have to see that rotation go on away. And already, off to the side, off to the garage we go. And it's going to be oh, the player. The so they're they all in. The the four, they're all in. The four of them are in. Hoops like, I saw one, but the whole team's here. The trade's going to be there. Octane wins his gunfight on the left side. Shots he now in through AC, tagged up heavily. Seattle surge could get it done here. As long as Octane can stay alive, his teammates do get traded out. If he can buy some time, and he does buy a ton of time. And here come the remaining players now through driveway chance. Looney's going to make the push in through the front, finds the kill. Oh, my word. Gunless and Co. find theirs as well. One more break would be good. Running out of time to make the win here, so you still have to think about the rotation as well. You got a rotation. You got the hill pressure as well. You got Seattle Surge flooding in. Persini was blocking those spawns, and now the man's in point. Illy waiting to heal before he makes the move, and he wins the gunfight. Alive for just a moment, but you can see Empire purely in survival mode. They don't want that scrap time <gasps> at all. They got to rotate. They need the break, and while Shati gets chopped down, you might have to flood through the front. Looney spawns in the back. He manages to find it. Illy now making his way forward. Gunless gets dropped. Is it going to be a clean break here on the rotation? Looney! Looney wins two! That's unbelievable! It's 10 seconds for the win now, and Looney may have just gone and done it. Here come the streaks. They're going to rain in from above. It's five seconds for the win. We're going to a game five. I cannot believe what we are witnessing. Seattle Surge, they will not be stopped. Game five, here we go. And what the hell kind of switch did these guys just flip? I, I mean, dude, the first two rounds at Garrison Control were just typical, right? It's Octane positive. Everybody else couldn't buy a kill. And then they just, what, turn to each other and they're like, hey, guys, like, do you just want to be like the best team in the game now? And they just go and be like, yeah, sure. Let's just start beaming everybody. Won three rounds in a row in Control. And then the same flip got switched here on the hard point. They were down by 40, 50 points. And then I guess what, turn to each other and they're like, hey, you want to try now? Do you want to just do the thing? Well, they did the thing, got the dub, ferociously at that. I mean, just ridiculous, because I think, what, Verstini went on a six spree, choked the streaks, didn't get him. I think next up was Looney, goes on a six spree, chokes the streak, doesn't get him. Octane literally then goes on a six spree, chokes the streaks, doesn't get him, and Gunless goes, hold my controller, goes on a nine spree, gets the break, gets the streaks, gets the game. 
for Empire, maybe a little bit shaken up as well. We're gonna have to close out the game five as holy gear, gunless, what a performance. 22 and 17 with 4K damage. Frankly, just straight across the board, everybody on Seattle putting in work. I'd buy a t-shirt that says holy dear gunless. So I'd wear that in public, absolutely. What a map that was. 250, 149. Dallas Empire, yeah, they just, they fell off there. That was, I think the kids called collapse. Full, true, and total collapse. <sighs> right, namaste, boys and girls. Let's just chill for a minute. We still have one more map to do in this series. Will the reverse sweep be completed? A big, big game five coming up after this very, very quick commercial break. Ooh, just, just roll the tape, just roll the video. Show me Seattle, let's get out of here. Give us the game five. Welcome back to the Call of Duty League, and we have ourselves a Game 5 Seattle Surge. Gotta be feeling good right now, gotta be feeling all sorts. Octane just checking the feed, checking all those sweet tweets that must be flying through. Yo guys are the best, yo the goats, let's get it baby. But here we go, maps and modes overall, and chance we go to Express for our Game 5, and that is possibly I mean. the best thing you could ever ask for for Seattle Surge. I mean, how spicy do you want to get? Obviously, both teams, oh no, we haven't seen it. We simply don't know. Like, even for the, the sake of what we saw in Checkmate, like, obviously, the Empire did their homework to deal with all the, the finesse and the A Street pushes and all of what Seattle can bring to the table, but we're going into this one blind. We simply <laughs> do not know. And I'd say from just this side of Seattle, man, like, they can win controls the best team in the game now? Am I kidding? Yeah, sure. A, a lot to like <laughs> learn still, but God, if it's not fun. Illy, of course, though, a force on the map. I'm gonna have to be dealing with, but 
I'm just excited, man. Like, yeah, Miles, you might be right, dude. Might new be. meta, new surge. Might be. I think I'm spot on there, mate. What a key to victory that one was. Surge are looking absolutely delightful. It's like they just learned not only like how to run the new meta fantastic, but also like how to trade. You go back to that raid hard point and just watch how effectively they trade in nearly every situation, especially on their start of the run there. It was absolute poetry in motion. They get Swiss watches. I want to buy a watch made in Seattle, because damn, if that's not precise and ticking magnificently, I don't know what is. But here we go, boys and girls. We are moments away from an express search and destroy to close out this ridiculous series between Dallas Empire and Seattle Surge. And honestly, I mean, it's, it'll be Seattle's, what, second win uh, in group play. I think overall they won a single one in stage one. This will be the first in stage two. Oh, sorry, the second in stage two. You know what, forget it. What a, what a team to get it done against, though. Dallas, do you think they're at all worried, nervous, trying like, What do you think the mood is in the Dallas camp right now? I mean, I would absolutely be a little bit concerned. Again, it's a fresh look on Express. I'm sure these guys have, you know, scrimmed it once or twice, certainly talked over the strats, but it's still a fresh thing and you don't have the information on your opponent of what they're going to bring to the table. And, you know, you just kind of tip the cap as well to Seattle just for the result. They were so close to just getting 3-0 smacked right out of the series. They were down 2-0 in the control. They have fought back and started to dominate done a hell of a job just to get to this moment but well it's still search and destroy empire still an absolute force in the game mode so a long way to go but map two is an indication you can expect it to be a bloodbath on both sides of the aisle here train we station, go both sides, of the train station. both sides of the rails both sides of the turn yeah we'll work on that one there's, there's plenty of train jokes in here but here we go dallas oh, they like dallas got the express man they got the bullet train all the way to the b-bomb site and christini though our conductor here trying to find something with a couple of nade stuns, you name it, trying to slow these boys down, waiting for the rest of the crew to move on up the rear, or the caboose, as we call it, in the train world. Elite, first and foremost, he and Krim find their kills. Gunless tagged up heavily. He's going to retreat. Are they chasing him? Oh, my God, they're chasing him. Who's that player chasing him? Get him! They got him! Gunless goes down. Dallas gets the round. And I'm going to tell you, there's going to be a lot of teams that steal that opening strat. It was like a triple or a quad nade. Everybody's sticking it up on the terminal board up top just to get the damage on any player that flies out to bomb. And frankly, now that I think about it, that would be one of the perfect strats to do against Atlanta phase especially. Because like Abizi a guy that loves to just fly up those stairs, challenge out on the bomb, use it as a head glitch just to look for those first bloods. So already Dallas, maybe they're not thinking of that specific thing, or maybe they are, but either way. Wonderful opening strat just to make sure no craziness happens with getting picked. Like what I see so far. Oof. From the nice opening too. Oh, they're back at it. They're back at it. Dallas are back on beat. Christine's going to maybe find something. Oh, he gave away something there. But Hook. Hello. Great kill. Shotzi. So sneaky. Shotzi. So sneaky. So dangerous. But great teamwork from Seattle to prevail there. 3v2. Krim levels it up. It's now a 2v2. Going back over towards B. Pristini, oh my, and a 1v1 against Illy. Gunners could come in for the pinch here, make sure he doesn't get out alive, and there it, oh my, oh my god, just about gets it. Krim, last player left now. Bringing it up the rear, slowly but surely. Three in a row for him, he can find a few more, that'd be ideal. The round would be sweet, but this is going to be tough. Again, look at the minimap, look how Serge are playing this one, very, very tight together. Oh my word, he saw one. He saw the second. He makes it a 1v1, and now Krim, six. Single-handedly trying to turn the round about. Chance he's going to hold it. For the timings too. He, he was just waiting for Pristini to get over aggressive. Pristini ordinarily flies, and well, this oh might my be God. the time for him to. Oh my God! It's not over yet. Crim's back and forth. He goes stunned up. Oh, he just gets it. Crim six. What a round! Oh my God, he, he lives for those situations. Uh, again, just playing off of Pristini perfectly, expecting to fly out. You know he's going to be the top trains and. Well, if he doesn't show himself in the first 10, 15 seconds, you worry about getting flanked? Nope, he's not there. Well, he's got to come from this direction. Crim6, the, the wizard at this, and well, a 5-0 and start from him. Looking like a player that's played on Express once or twice. <laughs> yeah, maybe a couple of times. He's been on this line a few times. There you go, there's another train one for you, friends. Ooh, I like that spot. Look at these trophies. Okay, Crim lands the nade. Looney gets the first kill. Second goes away, a Shotzi for him. But again, that's six in a row for Crim6. Oh, baby, that's number seven. Yeah, it's definitely, he's definitely been on this map before. He's definitely spent time here in the past. Streaks are now up and about. The full information comes through. And now another 1v1. It's Porterhouse versus Octane. 
Octane knows full well the bomb's going down there. Is it going to be a straight gunfight to take it? Crim's equipped a slightly different weapon. This is for eight in a row. And the round. Octane backs up. And this could well go the distance. Crim just has to play the clock. The Semtex lands it. Octane stops the spree. Ends the run. A little pirouette as he goes to defuse the bomb as well. Oh, yeah, and Crim6 knows that yeah, he just got played a little bit by Octane. He had him one shot. Octane goes into the back alley, and as soon as Crim6 ends up behind the pillar, he probably knows of like, ooh, I don't want to be here anymore. Not a fun spot to be because then he got Octane and just able to laser beam. By the way, Strat ended up working perfectly. They got the first blood on Persini. They stopped the aggression of the guy coming out towards the bomb site. So the Strat on point, but Octane with a clutch towards the end. Shout out to the, the extra bullet it would have taken from the 74U for Krim to get that, to get that kill because he was close to putting on a highlight reel performance. If he had started out 8-0 in three rounds, I would have been thinking about him tying up his old record from back in the day. From back in the day. Was it 20? It's a big one on Ghost. Uh, 20 kills, yeah. 20 kills. him and Dash here tied. I think one player might be, I don't know. We could review later. Who knows? It'll be Insight or Awakening by the end of this game. Mark my words, lad. Either way. Heavy stack for the boys of Seattle Surge over towards the A-side. Illy. Oh, boy. Looney Poo's on him. That's going to be a big kill. Shotzi now in the code making the way forward. They're going to have to try to get back onto the point. Hook's managed to get himself real close. I think his ankles are safe in that situation, so Octane shouldn't be able to see him, but we'll see how it goes. 3-4. Dallas are all lined up here on their side of the platform. Pristine on the inside of the train. Bomb's actually going to make his way out. Pristine's going to be the rear guard in this situation, so... Tags up. Anyone who tries to make that push forward, he should be able to watch them. Octane, make sure the crossing of the railway is good. And that's it. Over to B we go. Lovely transition there from Seattle Surge. They will have the main advantage. You don't want to get picked after planting the bomb, though. And you can see Empire, maybe Shotzi tries to make the play through the middle of the map. While Hook is thinking about the full flank. And, well, Shotzi, there's the opening. Catches the guy right off bomb. He does get traded out, but a wide pinch is in. Crim6 in the back, and he's waiting for Hook. Hook needs to fly. Oh, baby. Oh, the shots were there for Crim. And now it's a 1v1. 30 seconds left. Hook's going to make the charge. Gunners. Oh, my God. Did he caught Trent. He got caught. No, he didn't. Oh, he didn't get caught. It's a little choppy for us. We know, friends. We're all struggling with this one. But here comes Gunners. The bomb's oh, going to get the fuse, though. It's Huge. good. No, he's the got biggest, it for sure. The brain play. plays. He must have seen him go all the way around. And he's like, I know it. Oh, that stings. That stings. 3-1. Dallas. Starting to look a little bit more dangerous. Did a 3v4 retake, how fast it was. And again, Hook needed to fly everybody winning their ones. Shotzi did his job. The guy that either planted the bomb or the guy that was watching over him, he gets the pick. And, well, he falls, but Crim6 wins his one. He gets traded out, but then Hook wins his. There's no one left to trade. And then just makes the bold call for the 1v1. I, I think it just seems like in this game more so than in years past, maybe 5v5 is a big factor, but people love to just hop the bomb straight away. There's been a ton of success with doing it. Nuke with one kill to his name, but also has that round win. Big round win as well. Nades in the maps. Got his teammates to back him up. Should anyone decide to push down low? Unless, oh boy, good timing on the uh, flash there. It's going to slow him down, but Looney, nice angle. Looney finds one. Christini's going to be here on the immediate wrap. The timing is sweet. Oh no. Yeah, sweet. All good. 2v3. Surge with the advantage. You've got Illy making his way through mid. Grim sitting right at the back over by the catwalk that side of the map. Now you have to worry about the pinch, but again, plenty of time to get this bomb down. That's huge from Octane. So huge to have eyes on Krim at one cat, to look straight back over towards the red catwalk and find the kill as well. Massive plays from your boy LaRue. Yeah, nice angle as well. Krim six close to the kill, but so was Octane. Has to back down and take his time. And of course, won't well, you see where that bomb is down out? Krim six. Best of luck of trying to hop up, and I think he just knows it's not possible. If they don't give him a pick, and well, they do. Persini's going to fall. Krim now surging forward. Oh, Krim. You've had a couple of nice rounds so far. He's definitely feeling himself. In seconds. Oof. Made a lot of noise there as he clambered up, found the kills. Surge, get himself back in this. Say again, outside of that 3v4 clutch, this game, as tight as it could be, could literally go either direction. I think if I'm thinking for Seattle Surge right now, be careful about the aggression over towards B. Again, those nades on top of the terminal, not always fun to have to deal with. Frankly, Crim6, not fun to have to deal with either. It's actually the kids right now. Alien Hoot combined <laughs> one and seven. 
Looking for something, and well, Surge, again, aggressive. No nades coming out on oh top of Hook. That's God. why you get to the spot, and the Shred Machine oh. gets the first kill. Yeah, oh, Titan finds kill number two here, and there was three, and now it's all on the Illy. This is to tie it up 3-3. Three, three. Bomb still making its way over towards B. You've got Octane deep in the terminal, covering things. Illy, this is the thing that Illy does, though. He's so aggressive. He's so fast. He makes that rap immediately. But heads up play from Seattle. They know he's on the run here. And immediately you go over towards A. You burn a little bit more of the clocks. Not a problem. Illy's going to check these spots. Eyes on B bomb. And now they know for certain it's a push towards A. But, like, what do you do if you surge? Like, do you hold the line? Do you hold the back? Oh, he saw something. This could be a fight. You could get guns up, get something on him, Chance. But Illy, he's got to go. And, oh, my God. Illy, what in the name of all things Dallas? He once again makes the run. But that's 3-3. Three, three. I was like, dude, you let him get these kills. What else do you let him do? And I don't know what kind of timing he just got out to get the kill on Mooney. I thought Octane was just staring at him. But either way for Octane, Gunny on point gets those two in the final one as well. Solid round coming through, and that's a round that they get. I mean, technically it's a 3v4. Yes, they just trade out the first bloods, but who got that first pick and they're still able to convert. And well, now it's Octane's turn again. Just not even looking for the streaks, by the way. Krim has the artillery. Octane's on a five, so he's getting close as well. Of course, streaks are devastating for Krim. If his teammates plant this bomb on A, he's gonna hide in a corner and just call that bad boy in. Let's see if that's the plan. Oh, okay. Nice one, Looney. Great start. We love that. Last check, just to make sure we're all good there. In a decent position to be in in those corridors. A lot of map coverage. Slow push towards A from Dallas. Doing this a man down. Dad will not be here at the train station. It's on Hook, Illy, and Shotzi to get themselves home right now. Octane definitely saw a couple of moves there. The tags are up. Now you should see the convergence from Surge. They should all make their way in position now. Especially with that bomb going down, but... Oh, Looney. Checks one corner. Checks another. You know there are players all around it. Waits for the reinforcements. That's so smart. Here we go, Chance. We're winding up for the fight here. 30 seconds. It's going to be one big fight. It's going to be a banger. And Looney starts it off fantastically. Octane wins his kill as well. Now it's done. Oh, my God. Pristini won his kill upstairs as well. Oh, my God. It was so clean from Surge. I mean, clean, perfect, disgusting, on point, whatever word you want to give it. Octane now has full streaks. They got the round win. They are on fire right now. And credit to Looney, by the way, just for the information. The slides back and forth just be like, yep, he's in this corner. All right, the other guy's in this corner. Doesn't die. Doesn't throw away his life. Yeah. Waits for his teammates to come help him out. Making sure that you swarm over lockers. Perfectly done on the retake. Seattle now up 4-3. to three. Streaks at their disposal. And again, dude, this is a team. They had only two series wins so far this entire year. We're down 2-0 in the series, 2-0 on the garrison control, and have been on fire since then. Yep. It's like, it is, it's incredible. But it's not over yet. Now it's on Dallas, on the defense here, and they've played it quite deep. They're going to give up a free B-bomb site, which is going to immediately get planted upon. Shotzi now going to make his way forward. He's got Octane to worry about on the deep side of the terminal. Christini up close. Krim! Oh, baby! Krim lands two. The bait and switch was set, and it was all about the... Oh, wait. Octane's going to fight his artillery as well, just for the information. Oh, my God. All right. Well, Pristini, the fight is on, baby. Here comes Krim. Trying to pick up where Shotzi went down. It's a 3v2 on the point. Illy! He loses the fight to Octane. That's unbelievable. He's the last player alive now. 1v2, less than 20 on the bomb. It's going to be an immediate defusal. He goes down as well in all the chaos there. <laughs> the pandemonium. I didn't even know how to call that. Absolute pandemonium. I mean, I, I will say, I don't know how Octane is winning some of these gunfights. I mean, it seemed like he was one shot in Illy. Still somehow can't quite connect with it. Frankly, just for Crim 6, I mean, the artillery picks up two. Finds the space with the, the roof being just open enough. That was great. Get those two kills. So, streak invested, win the round. But keep in mind, Octane still has two in the back pocket, but I don't know if you saw him pull out the laptop. Did he ping check? Yeah, he, right? he ping checked. We saw it come up in the, in, the, in the confirmation feed at the top right hand side. He ping checked. So, there we go. I mean, it's got to be pristine. It's got to be perfect accuracy. He's going to have to eyeball that one. No pings to work with in the next round. But at 4 4, we are going the distance here on Express. Once again, it's a B bomb site push and. I mean, we could see exactly the same thing. Could we see the same thing? Wait for it. Octane. Here comes the artillery. 
think that was too slow, though. Yeah, everyone just got out inside. They, they waited for the nades. They didn't call it in straight away. So 4v4, one street down. Ordnance does not find its landing. Gunshots will, though. Oh my god, Collapse is on, Looney, he wins the fight, it's on Krim, Krim dies as well, it doesn't matter if you've got streaks when Pristini and Looney are getting it done with the subs. Oh my word, Chance, the defuse will land and with that, it is match point, Seattle Surge. And Seattle has put the work in on this map, the two rounds ago, had the perfectly clean retake over towards the A-bomb site, this time they have a Perfectly clean retake over towards B. Happy to give up the bomb plants. They have no fear in their hearts. And frankly, just the speed at which they're able to accomplish it. I mean, Dallas, they have no time to communicate, no time to think, barely any time to trade it all. Octane still 12 kills to his name, still has that cruise missile. And again, it's a situation. I mean, you get the bomb planted and Octane's alive. You can just sit there and hover that bad boy and spot out for information. You don't need the crews if you can just win the gunfights. They are straight back over towards B. Old Faithful. Old Faithful indeed. I'm not quite gone down just yet. Fighter there. Shotsy on the point. Trying to defend it with his life. Here come the reinforcements from Dallas right through the middle of the terminal. They're going to pass tickets. They're going to get into the fight fast. Nades are still a-flowing. Damage is being dealt, but no kills just yet. Looney trying to peek forward. Huke gets the first blood. Gunners with immediate answer back, and it's a volley straight away. Gunners and Looney now still on point. They're going to find one more. And oh my word, this is as close as it could possibly be. Gunless peeks a little too far and Shotzi finds the kill and into it. Now it's a 2v3 and Shotzi, oh my word, the damage is there, but no kill. Looney now trying to stay alive. Hukes on the hunt. Here comes the play. He's going to take care of one more. Now Octane the 1v3 gets gunned. Oof. Round 11. Back to back. Round 11s. Empire came out on top of the first round 11 on Checkmate. They're looking to do the same, and again, it's been a thing for them, man. They just need to close out the searches. Another opportunity for them, and this is dude, Krim versus Octane right now, by the way. Ridiculous stat line to keep in mind, Octane still sitting on that cruise missile. Same defensive strat we saw from Surge the last round ago. The quad stack over towards A, and well, Empire, no time wasted. Right on top of B, getting the bomb planted. Here it comes. We've seen it before, and the cruise missile coming in. Here comes the cruise. Gonna land from above. Oh, here we go. Octane's gonna bend this one right through the side onto the B bomb site, but no one really there to find anything. Cruise used. Now, it's gonna be 30 seconds on the bomb. Illy with catwalk control, players all around him. Looney's about to make the poke potentially, but you can definitely hear that player above him, so they know. Pristini now floods the bomb site. Gets that first blood against Huke. That is absolutely massive. Shots he answers back immediately. The trades are there. It's going to be a 2v2. Octane and Pristini. Crim 6 and Illy. Illy's going to make it tough. And there's another big one from Pristini now. Illy alone. With 10 seconds left on the bomb, they have to find him and gut him to pieces. There's the shots. Octane! Last player left! I don't think he got it! I don't think he got the bomb! No! Dallas! With a bang, they do not let Surge land the reverse sweep. And it comes down to a matter of seconds. What a series that was. Dallas get it done in game five. Oh my God, Seattle came to play. We got to take a second look at what just happened in those final moments. You got Pristini running around like a madman, picking up kills left and right. But then it was Illy from the corridor, the late flank man making the play. Clutch as hell in the final seconds. Run it back, show it again. How did he pull it off? Look at the time on the clock. 22 seconds left to go. This is when Pristini is mopping up all the kills. It trades back and forth, but we know it's Illy that makes the play. The shots don't come through to take down Octane, and well, Octane then runs in circles trying to look for him. Illy plays in the corner, gets the nade on bomb and the kill with eight seconds left, and Octane, oh. a smidgen, a smidgen too far away. Skosh closer and he gets the defuse, <laughs> but off by 0.1. It could literally, I mean, it literally could not be any closer. That is as close to the series as you're ever gonna see. Two will come back in the control, doubled up on the round 11s. We'll ignore the hard points for this narrative. Whatever. Illy man, so inspirational. 1v3 on the checkmate to help him get to the round 11, and then the clutch towards the end with the perfect timing.
on getting the guy off bomb. It wasn't ice, it was just pure fire. It was white hot burning passion. From Illy to just nail that play, man. Right, well, <laughs> where, where do we go What do we do? <laughs> what do we even do after what a crazy series, man? Seattle, though, I think the biggest takeaway from us now is that Seattle are looking mighty fierce. Like, oh, oh, it's just been the most brilliant turnaround here in stage two. And Dallas, like, I think, yeah, a win's a win. But when it came that close, when it came that tight against a squad like Seattle, you must come into a day like this and be like, yeah, Seattle, we're going to 3-0 them. I had 3-0 in my pickems. I know many other people did. I, I don't think anyone was like, yeah, I can see I can see Surge taking this in game five. I don't think many people actually believe that, even the Surge fans, the diehard believers. But boy, oh boy, did Surge come to play today and did Surge win hearts and minds? Because my God, that was an incredible series. I mean, absolutely. Like, obviously they lose in like a heartbreaking fashion towards the end, but I mean, I'm just thinking about the positive for the camp, right? You get a control win against one of the best teams in the game. You prove that you can do that. Massive turnaround in that regard. The, the raid hard point, just something fierce for there. And then, I mean, you got guys like Illy, one of the best S&D players in the world. Hook and Chati and Krim are all right there in that same category. You double up on round 11s against them, and again, literally, if Octane just like a, just a scotch a little bit faster, they get that win. That's how close they are to beating one of the best teams in the game. Hell of a turnaround they've had in the past week and a half from practice. And again, it was what? E even the Florida series. They got bopped out by them the first time they played them. Well, a couple days ago, they looked like a completely different team. <laughs> Seattle Surge, man. It came to play. It came to play. Our scuff play of the game will be that final few moments from that exciting round 11, because we want to see it for a third time, let's be honest. Again, it all comes down to the trades, and you can watch this situation back, like watch Illy playing from that top catwalk. He does the slowest of moves, like he jumps out window, he gets his kill, he goes back into the side door, and just prioritizing the bomb. Absolute magnificent work from him. Times the nade to perfection, and just look at that in-game clock, man. Like it, could, it couldn't have been any closer. And it was just all around brilliance. I have loved this series. What a bit of work there from Illy. Shout out to Dallas for remaining cool in what was the most stressful of situations all around. But, whew, Serge, welcome back to the league. I mean, welcome back. And I say for Empire, well, you can see the level of happiness on their face. That is a win, but only when it comes to the CDL points. They are not going to be happy with that performance at all because... I mean, again, they, we're expecting almost dominance from them in search and destroy in a certain aspect, and they are squeaking by with some of these wins. Admittedly, Express, it's the first time they've played it, but it's certainly a team. You can see the look on their faces. They want to get back to the drawing board and probably just want to get to their next match. <laughs> Good luck for Paris Legion, because you're definitely going to be dealing with a pissed-off Empire. I mean, like, if you look at that schedule for Empire, and you're like, yeah, it's cool. we got a super easy game to start this one off. Paris shouldn't be that bad. Rocker mixed match. Florida will see who turns up. Optic will be the toughest opponent for us. Eh, eh, you're wrong. Surge absolutely slash you to pieces and draw every ounce of blood they possibly could to get the win there. It was a slog fest. And now for Paris, Paris are looking fine as well. So you're gonna have a difficult run here for Dallas here in stage two. Rocker, that's ugly a bit of a coin toss. We don't really know what's gonna happen with that squad, which like version of Rocker shows up on the day, but everyone else is in fine form. So Dallas now, Krim tweeted Clay not too long ago about like, I don't know how you go so hard in pool play matches. You have to go hard in every single game now because the league is so fierce and the competition is so unbelievably close. Now we can take a quick look at Seattle's road through this stage and chance it's a it's a weird one again man like it's another just i don't know what to expect anymore out of this team i mean again it, you know it's only one control win so it, it's not like all of their problems have been <laughs> alleviated but clearly they have made improvements and at the very least like how much it sucks it was around 11 but i gotta imagine some win in their sales to give them confidence if they can go toe to toe with dallas like that they could beat all these teams that they have exactly. left on the road to majors. It's just about making sure they turn up on any given day. Because again, it's just, they're a scary team. They really are. <laughs> Even on Checkmate SD, they show so many different looks. Their SD look clean on Express as well. Some little nooks and cranny level of adjustments for this team. I just can't wait to see them play again.
Well, it's the Sunday schedule brought to you by the US Army. And my God, the Toronto Home Series has been fun so far. Gorillas versus Royal Ravens first. Again, we get to see the debut of Paul X there for Royal Ravens. Then we get a treat to Atlanta Phase versus Toronto Ultra. Can Insight go up against some of the biggest dogs in the league and take a bite out of them? We'll find out there. And of course, our Game Fuel Marquee match. LA Thieves going up against NYSL. And that should be a bout. Two teams who arguably are in very similar situations, like a couple of role changes from LA Thieves, making them look a bit squeakier, and subliners, again, the potential very, very high indeed for that roster, so that should be an incredible game. Set your calendars and your clocks. That's going to be one you don't want to miss. But my God, Chance, I don't even know how to stand right now. I'm very excited. This has been a good day of COD. I don't know how you feel. You're over there. I don't know how you feel, but I'm having a good time. How do you feel? I mean, I had a great time. It's so warm in this apartment. I will say the gameplay is too hot for me right now. So I'm just trying to cool off. And the same thing for the players. Got to cool off, go back to the drawing board, try to fix those tiny little mistakes from every team involved, I'd say, at this point. Level of competition this year, Miles, is as good as it's ever been. Well, that's going to be that. We uh, are going to be throwing this to a quick break and we're going to be seeing Lottie talk to Hoop. But first and foremost, we want to thank all of the fans, uh, everyone here. We know there has been a, a delay. There's been technical issues. There's this weird like stuttering thing going on. We are fully aware of that one. We see your tweets. We see the stream. It's what we as casters see as well. We thank you all for your patience. It has been a nutty, nutty day. And again, from the bottom of all our hearts here at the CDL, we love you and we're striving to make this better every single day. So we're going to work this ish out and come back even stronger tomorrow. And we hope to see you there as well. So more than anything, thank you for your patience and thank you for being as passionate as we are about all this when we come back after this break we're going to talk to someone who should be breathing with passion it's Hook talking to Lottie we'll see you after the break The Call of Duty League is presented by T-Mobile, now America's largest and fastest 5G network. Set your sights on the competition with T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. Hello everybody and welcome to your Game Fuel Victory Spotlight. Joining me I have Hook from Dallas Empire. Hook, I've got to ask you man about that final ST on raid because that was just absolutely disgusting. What you guys managed to do then pull off on Express was ridiculous. Yeah. It was really cool to see you and Serge come up on a map that was a really even playing field. You know, we haven't seen you guys on it, you're naught for naught both of you. And now one for zero for <laughs> you guys. It came right down to the wire. Yeah. Round 11, 0 0.1 seconds on the bomb, man. Yeah. Talk to me through, you know, the comms. What was going on on your team? What was being said? Dude, honestly, like, yeah, it was our first time playing it. So there were certain things where I was like on the map. I was like, what is going on, man? Like, I've never, you know, like, I'm new to the map. Uh, and then 
I don't know. My team was going off. Porter had like that nasty one v three. Uh, yeah, man. He was doing. Everyone was doing their thing. Honestly, I mean, it was a fun one. It was intense. Uh, yeah. I mean, the comms were crazy. <laughs> the comms were crazy the whole map because we really wanted to win, of course. <laughs> but like, yeah. But, I mean, it was intense match and it was fun. Fun to be a part of. Yeah. It was, it was definitely intense, to say the least. Now, yeah. talking about intensity, I know that you guys did bring some intensity to the Major. You ended up in our grand finals there, but did fall short against Atlanta Phase. Mm -hmm. Talk to me through that process, man, because obviously it was disappointing for you guys to finish in that way. What have you been working on to come into Stage 2 to ensure that that doesn't happen again to you guys? Uh, honestly, just working on like uh, the little things. We just had to get back to making a, making the game a little bit more basic for ourselves and helping each other out and kind of just, I mean, S&D was a big thing. I mean, we we didn't win the most S&D. So that's, it's good that we won those two S&Ds, uh, showing improvements. But um, yeah, mainly S&D, we've been working a lot on that and just how we play it overall. And it's good to, good to show what we're practicing, for sure. I like that. Yeah. It's the little things. Yeah. It's the little things. You guys need to finesse it. And, and look, one step in the right direction. We got, we got a win on the board there, man. Uh, final question for you, Hoop, before I let you go. You know, you are really solidifying yourself as one of the best players in the league. And I think arguably to a lot of people, the best we have currently. Your numbers don't lie. Um, so I want to know, what do you think it really comes down to? Why are you so talented, Hoop? Um... I mean, I just took a different approach, kind of, you know. Um, I love the game. Uh, I just had to realize, like, I'm very grateful for all of this, like, every bit of it, to be able to play video games. And, you know, sometimes you get caught up and take it for granted. So I'm just trying my best not take it for granted and try my best, absolute best every match and just have some fun with it, you know. Uh, and that's a big thing for me, personally. Cause it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I love Thank it. Thank you, CDO. We have one more thing. I love that. I apologize, Seattle. I apologize. I, it was a mistake. You live and you learn. You know, I should have checked my class that first map, but it happens, and I apologize. And that's it. That's all I got to say. I love it. Dude, right. You are an absolute favorite here at the Call of Duty League. Appreciate you so much. I feel the passion coming from you. Congratulations once again. Amazing work from you and the boys and best of luck going forward <laughs> in you. stage two, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there you have it, guys. You've heard from Hook the Nuke himself. It has been an absolute pleasure watching these guys take another dub on the board for them. Can they do it a little bit better next time? We'll have to find out, but we're going to head to a break right now. If you're a real one, you're going to be staying with me and study in a little bit as we break down some of the biggest moments from today. So, we'll see you after this.
pulled up with the cups and the cake. Oh, Count a few bucks when the money inflate. I ain't in a rush to be did it my way. But there's money right here, so you better not trip. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Shout it on trip. Yeah. Shout it on trip. Check. Shout it on. Uh, ay. Yeah. Shout it on trip. Shout it on trip. Yeah. Shout it on trip. Hello everybody, we are back on your screens for the last time today for day three of the Toronto Home Series. We do have our schedule today presented by the US Army. This is what happened across the course of the day. We had Optic taking down Paris Legion, three to one. A big closeout on the show for Florida Mutineers against Minnesota Rocker, closing that one three and zero. Oh. And then our Game Fuel marquee match. Who would have thought it going down to the wire, round 11, 0.1 seconds on the bomb. And Dallas Empire do manage to take that one once again. Surge though, I've got to say, a phenomenal, phenomenal performance from you guys. Nearly pulled off that reverse sweep. And I'm gonna say it's uh, it's pretty impressive. And what else is impressive is Study, our top comment in today's chat. Study gonna reveal the iPhone 13 later today. Steve Jobs <laughs> on the desk, ladies and gents. <laughs> <laughs> that caught me completely <laughs> off guard, man. Oh, oh, that's a good oh, one. That's God. a good one. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's a good one. I'm crying. <laughs> um, yep, stud. We love, we love the outfit today. The fit is fire, and well Steve point. would be very proud of it as well. So, um, we absolutely love to see that, dude. We got to break down. Though. I got to start. I got to compose myself. <laughs> we got to, we got to break down what we just saw because honestly, that was wild. I honestly haven't seen anything that crazy close yeah. and. I think something that was really pulled out of the back pocket from Surge there. And I think credits where credit's due. Obviously, Dallas, fantastic stuff, managing to close out and smart plays to try and get that player straight off the bomb in the nick of time, not giving Surge the ability to defuse it. So really interesting that Surge managed to really adapt their gameplay mid-series to meet Dallas and nearly get that reverse sweep stud. What do you make of it, man? Oh, man, this was a phenomenal series from top to bottom. It goes all the way to five, round 11, to the very end, man. For Dallas, obviously, you win your respawns, you lose that map number four, but you clutch, I mean, you also lose that map number three as well. You're giving Seattle their very first win on control throughout the entire season. So for Dallas, you want to go fix those respawns, but I'm specifically talking about the search and destroys for Dallas Empire. We saw them at the major versus Atlanta. They did not win one throughout that entire final. They go in, in, in this series right here and close out both of them in a 6-5 fashion. Obviously, they want to be able to close those out a little easier because if, if Illy does not get that 1v3 on map two, Seattle search do walk away with this series but they end up clutching out they end up closing that out and on the side of seattle surge man just improvements from top to bottom ever since stage one these guys were not winning controls they come out and do it today versus a phenomenal team in the dallas empire they also go on to win that map number four goes all the way down to around 11 like i said man if illy doesn't get that 1v3 in map number two they can walk away with this series but they've improved so well man stage two seattle surge are different different yeah, I mean, it's the game changers that they have on their team stud. I think yeah. it makes a huge difference if you have people that could really start to turn a series round for your game around. Um, stud, I've got to ask you, though, full circle from what we talked about this morning with Surge. Obviously, talked about control being a really big factor in this game. They managed to get their first one on the ball, which is fantastic. Yeah. But I think I want to ask you about Pristini. You know, a hot and cold player, but when he's on, he's absolutely on. What did you make of his gameplay this series? Yeah, so we saw him in the previous series that he played versus Florida, 1.17. And then today, obviously, he didn't have an outstanding series of that caliber, but he played tremendous for his, for his team today. He was the only one to go positive on that map number one. We've seen the clutch plays that he was able to do on map number three and four. Almost makes the play in that round number five of round number 11 to get that first blood. But just the consistency from Prasini, he's really been improving ever since stage two has happened, and I'm proud of him, man. He's an emotional player, and it usually gets to him, but he's doing his thing for his team. I like it. He plays with his heart, and, uh, and honestly, sometimes that can be a huge factor 
and how you win series and how yeah. you clutch up the passion coming forward there. But I tell you what, passion I've got is for our schedule for tomorrow as well, presented by the US Army. Starting the day off, we got the Gorillas taking on the Royal Ravens as Ravens make a new rookie debut on the team, which we'll talk about in just a sec. Then up next, FaZe takes on Toronto Ultra, a home series gentlemen. Very excited to see what they're going to pull out of the bag and how they're going to do against the very dominant Atlanta FaZe. And then our game for your marquee match to close out tomorrow, we've got Thieves versus Subliners. I think this is going to be a big match too. Yeah. Really excited to see what both of these teams have been working on behind the scenes, how they're going to match up against each other. It's going to be very interesting. So uh, we'll break down that and more tomorrow. But you know, I want to talk, Sud, about this London Royal Ravens team. Because obviously, Paul X, a new rookie, he's 19 years old, super talented individual, and he's really going to be coming on here. AR role, how do you think he's going to fare amongst these very talented individuals on his team? Well, Paul X, he's a phenomenal player from top to bottom. He's been dominating the challengers with his team in Wester. Now he finally gets the call up to, the, to that professional level. And he's only going to be doing what he's been doing all year, man. That's been putting on the show. He's an unbelievable player with that assault rifle. And when you're talking about the London Royal Ravens, that was one thing that they were lacking in was just that sling. So when you add a player of his caliber to this team, it's going to be insane, man. I'm so excited to see what he's able to bring to a roster that has yet to win a match in the entire season so far. Hopefully, with him and Zed basically being the new faces for this team, some new energy is going to be formed. Yeah, definitely. I mean, looking at our rookie roundup, we have some very talented gentlemen here on this board. Uh, and I'm very excited to see what Paul X is going to do. I mean, I think London Royal Ravens is craving that main dominant AR player. I'm excited to see him hopefully open the lanes up, let his SMGs run wild and do what they can do best, be aggressive. So I have my eyes peeled for him. I yeah. really do. I'm excited. Young gun on the board. Uh, but Stud, I'm, I don't know about you, man, but I think we've, we have... Oh, we do have an Astro Social Soundboard, actually. Paul X. I just want to win. Um, that's a really good start, Paul X, I must say. Uh, very, very good start for uh, for going into tomorrow. And uh, I can I can very much feel the uh, the want to take this to the next level with uh, the London Royal Ravens. I don't know about you, Sub, but I think we're pretty much done for today, aren't we? No, no, no. We're not done, Lottie. Just how you hit me with a surprise, it's now time for me to give you one of my own. Wait until you see this, oh, Lottie. We're okay. about to... Uh, we're going to laugh see. a little more. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm watching. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lottie's got yep. a letter. Lottie's got a letter. Let's go, Lottie. You're looking good. Looking good. Blues Clues. Thank love you, that. man. I love Mate, it. Mate, Blues Clues. That used to be one of my favorite, favorite shows as a kid. So I, I honestly, I appreciate the guy that put ta that together for me. I did see that on the uh, on the timeline for sure. Um, look, it's it's goated. It's a it's a goated piece of uh, piece of uh, kids film. I love I love that series. It's great. <laughs> I ain't sorry. All I'm sorry about is I don't have a Blues Clues to have on my desk like that. So uh, that's the only thing I'm sad about there. But Stud, you've been a star entertainment all around today. Thank you so much. We are mourning the loss of the internet of our one and only Nameless, yeah. but we will hopefully have him back at some point. Uh, but ladies and gents, that is going to be it for, uh, for day three here at the Toronto Ultra Home Series. We will be back tomorrow for day four at 12 Pacific, 3 Eastern. But till then, it's good night. See you tomorrow.